guidando la classifica ci sono circa 6 minuti di ritardo tra il passaggio e la conduzione qui in arena sappiamo che la promessa di Cantina non ha una grande copertura per le reti wireless comunque sta cominciando la lunga 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 tratta eterna tratta verso l'arena e poi verso l'ultima parte del percorso una gara che per parecchio tempo sarà lunga più di due ore But we are still waiting for the first man to punch that first split time. It's the very same control as for the women, with call number 39, actually. And they can note that uh, Francesco Mariani, he has been out now for 47 minutes, and still no punch at the ninth control from Francesco. We know that Mats Eismo, big, big troubles in the beginning, so uh, he will be late at that point. But Francesco Mariani, we don't have any GPS from Francesco, so we don't know. Esatto, non sappiamo dove sia Francesco Mariani, non abbiamo il suo GPS, così non, come non ce l'abbiamo per uh, Mattia Scopello o Damiano Bettega. È strano che sia in gara da 47 minuti senza alcun passaggio dai tempi intermedi, ma vedremo, spero a breve, un atleta italiano comparire nel ranking. A new fourth best time for the first split time for the women, Laura King, uh, Great Britain, uh, heading into 37.25, that means fourth best, but 3.39 behind the Tune Bergerud Lie, the fastest to the first split time with a time of 33.46. Questa è data in quarta posizione la britannica Laura King, 37 minuti e 25, il suo ritardo è già di 3 minuti e mezzo e oltre dalla norvegese che guida la classifica. Ancora no news né da Alice Selem né da Jessica Lucchetta per arrivare al primo punto di controllo radio, il punto numero 39, che è lo stesso per gli uomini, quindi è molto strano che ancora gli uomini non siano passati, nessuno di loro... Riccardo Casanova in gara da 37 minuti, Valerio Casanova e Emiliana Grifoni stanno sicuramente aspettando di vedere comparire il suo nome nel ranking. It will be a long day today, I can tell you. Uh, 50 minutes running right now for Francesco Mariani, the Italian junior, but still no punch at the ninth control. And 50 minutes running. The expected wind time is 105 minutes today, I believe. 19 kilometers, and it will be very, very tough for a lot of runners today. And a very long running times. The courses are long, as I told you, 13 point something for the women and 19.1 for the men. So it's very long uh, courses and also really, really tough physically, very demanding. And also we can see from the GPS and Mats Ace moves a big, big mistake at the fifth control. So uh, it's not easy out there. So it's very demanding this long distance here in Casilio today, here in Italy. Siamo a 51 minuti di gara per Francesco Mariani, è veramente una gara lunga, difficile, sarà lunga anche per gli speaker, saremo in diretta per 6 ore con interventi anche in radio 
for the news flash. Uh, Now we got the punch from Mats 8. Smo, he's still the first out there to nine control after that very big mistake at the fifth control. And 54 minutes and 59 seconds for Mats 8 Smo to that first uh, split time at the ninth control for the men. So that means he is not the only one with mistakes in the beginning, I can tell you. Because it's a huge mistake at the fifth control from Mats 8 Smo. Many, many minutes. I think you're right, uh, uh, Mats 8 Smo, nonostante l'errore enorme. Al quinto punto è il primo ad arrivare al primo punto radio, il nono punto di controllo in 55 minuti di gara, quindi non è stato sicuramente l'unico a commettere errori in quella parte di terreno dove è difficilissimo ricollocarsi una volta che non si è trovato il punto di controllo. Also got the new six best time to the first split time for the women, uh, Elsa Kulze. Also a junior from Latvia, 37.31 her time. That means six best, 3.45 behind Tone berger Lie, also uh, from Norway. And still only one has punched that second split time. It is Emma Louise Arnesen from Norway, 59 minutes and 11 seconds. But it's good to see a sign that the men also has punched that first split time. So we are waiting for some more times, of course. In total, we have 97 women in the start list, and for the men, it's 109 in the start list today. Sono passate al primo punto di controllo radio anche Jessica Lucchetta da Licesselemi, loro tempi 45 minuti 42 secondi, 46 minuti e 24, viaggiano in dodicesima e quattordicesima posizione. Il distacco dalla norvegese è già superiore ai 12 minuti per le due atlete italiane. La migliore al momento è Martina Rizzi che viaggia con Tori Boris a circa 6 minuti di distacco da Emma Louise Armesen. L'arrivo è posizionato sul territorio nel comune di Tambre. Ovviamente la gara copre gran parte della zona della foresta del Cansiglio, quindi... Andiamo anche in altri comuni, qui comunque l'arrivo è a Tambre, è il momento giusto anche per ringraziare le amministrazioni che hanno collaborato con l'organizzazione per allestire queste finali di Coppa del Mondo e tutti i volontari che stanno dando una mano a vari livelli per la buona riuscita dell'organizzazione. La Coppa del Mondo non torna in Italia dal 2005, vicino a Roma, zona di Subiaco, the last edition of the World Cup in Italy in 2005 near Subiaco, Rome. At the beginning of our history as orienteers in 1992 near Montebelluna in Veneto. A uh, single long distance uh, and uh, the winner came from uh, Switzerland. It was a surprise. Brandner ranked uh, at the 14th place in the overall ranking and he won that uh, edition of the that stage of the World Cup. Uh, uh, under the rain, uh, terrain uh, which was uh, almost impossible based on the on what said uh, some other runners uh, much uh, well uh, ranked uh, at that time in 1992. And now we got the punch from uh, Damiano Pettiga from Italy and also from Francesco Mariani but 44.30 for uh, Damiano Pettiga that means he is almost together with Francesco Mariani 54.09 for Francesco, so 9 minutes and 39 seconds behind Damiano Bettiga. So it's a very good start from Damiano, I must say. Damiano, più difficile è il percorso, più forte vanno le gambe di Damiano Bettiga. Damiano Bettiga ha recuperato quasi 10 minuti nei primi 45 minuti di gara su Francesco Mariani e in questo momento in prima posizione cominciano a muoversi anche gli altri uomini al primo punto di controllo radio. So it's clearly the fastest. Mats Eismo is 10.29 behind. And now also Tom Drialski from Belgium, 12.57 behind Damiano Bettiga. Clearly the fastest so far. And uh, waiting for some more women to pass that second split time. Still only Emma Louise Arnesen. But we knew that we have some delay from that control, but we are waiting for the split times very soon from control 47, the second one for the women. Damiano Bettiga runs for GS Pavione. The area is the Primiero area. 
more tough is the race, uh, stronger are the legs of, French, of Damiano Bettega. <laughs> Very yeah. good start. Uh, it's a good start, I believe. E quindi abbiamo almeno in questo momento la soddisfazione di avere due atleti italiani al comando, solo quattro passaggi, ma la partenza di Damiano Bettega, dieci minuti di vantaggio su Francesco Mariani e chissà, magari in questo momento si stanno vedendo, potranno darsi il ritmo l'uno con l'altro. So Francesco Mariani punts that control some 20 seconds ahead of Damiano Bettega. Maybe they are together very, very soon. Will it be an advanced, do you think, for the Italian to run together? It could be better to run together, not... Uh, Well, we have to follow the rules, of mm. course. Uh, I think that uh, Francesco Mariani could be able to put the pace, uh, a good pace uh, for Damiano, but uh, Francesco is uh, much faster than uh, Damiano, so maybe by Francesco will try to stay alone uh, very soon uh, in the going downhill, uh, coming back to the arena. But I think they will be split up in that butterfly because they don't have the same uh, course, I believe, if it is... Every second have A and every second have B. I believe they don't have the same. Uh, Thomas Loraya from US uh, heading into the new second best time to that first split time for the men. 48.35, so that means he's four minutes and five seconds behind Damiano Bettiga from Italy for Thomas Loraya, USA. Passato anche lo statunitense Thomas Laraia, il vantaggio di Damiano Bettiga scende, ma rimane a 4 minuti e 5 secondi in questo momento. I due atleti saranno sicuramente separati dal Butterfly che si troveranno ad affrontare molto presto dopo circa 50 minuti di gara. E ho avuto ora Tone Berger-Lie per il secondo split e è ancora più veloce di Emma Louise Arnesen. 55 minuti e 5 secondi per Tone Berger-Lie da Norway. Ora è 4 minuti e 6 secondi più veloce di Emma Louise Arnesen. È stato 2.54 nel primo split, quindi Tone Berger-Lie con una più veloce di Emma Louise Arnesen, questo è molto chiaro. Tone Berger Udlie from uh, dalla Norvegia al, uh, rimane in prima posizione anche al secondo punto di controllo radio dopo 55 minuti. Riccardo Casanova dalla Germania, seconda posizione, 46 minuti 36 secondi, il vantaggio di Damiano Bettica scende a 2 minuti e 6 secondi sul suo ex compagno di nazionale italiana, il giovane tedesco Riccardo Casanova. So, Ricardo Casanova, who is uh, representing Germany, into second place to the first split for the men, 46-36. Two minutes and six seconds behind Damiano Bettiga from Italy. So, that's a great start also from Ricardo Casanova, the youngster in the German team. Ed è passato anche Mattia Scopel, un altro dei ragazzi italiani del team junior. Da quest'anno Mattia Scopel è un elite, il suo posizione è quarta. 8 minuti e 35 secondi di ritardo per Mattia Scopel da Damiano Bettega. Damiano Bettega, like uh, Francesco Mariani, uh, he's a last year junior, Damiano Bettega also, I believe. And Ricardo Castanova is the first year senior, so they are pretty young, the, the runners right now in top there in the men's class to the first split. Damiano Bettega was uh, 15th in uh, the Junior World Championship. Mm? 15th place uh, was uh, a very good place uh, till uh, last year for the Italian team. And now Damiano Bettega is the third runner yeah. in the team with its 15th place. But Damiano <laughs> is uh, very proud of that. Uh, place at the Junior World Championship uh, is able to run uh, very well. Tougher is the race, stronger is Damiano, believe me. Siamo a 41 minuti di gara intanto per Francesca Taufer.
che si inserirebbe se funzionasse in questo momento subito dietro a Martina Rizzi lei sì, ha avuto una ottima partenza l'atleta ticinese in forza alla nazionale italiana Asco Lugano il team ticinese di Martina Rizzi Orienti in Pergine il team italiano quando gareggia in Italia il bianco e rosso dell'Asco Lugano, il blu e nero dell'Orienteering Pergine. What I can see from the GPS, I'm waiting for the first starter, Emma Louise Arneson, to the 16th control pretty soon. And after that, there's a lot of running over the open areas, the open fields. Uh, they will cross the road uh, just north of the arena, and then they will pass, but we will not be able to see them, uh, unfortunately. And then we have the last controls in a very tricky area, very, very similar with the middle distance area, which will be used on Saturday for the World Cup finals here in Italy and Cancelio. But very soon, I believe we will have Emma Louise Arnesem to the third split time at control 54. È passato in terza posizione il britannico Thomas Alastair, scivola in quarta posizione lo statunitense Thomas Laraia, Gran Bretagna e Stati Uniti, quindi magari qualcuno sta seguendo la gara e commentando sui vari forum come Nop Sport o Attack Point. Terza posizione in questo momento per il britannico. So Alistair Thomas from uh, Great Britain into third position to the first display time, 47.59, 3.29 behind Damiano Bettiga from Italy. Alistair Thomas, also youngster, first year senior. So they are running pretty good here in the beginning, the youngsters. At the same time, we got Emma Louise Onesem to that control, as I told you about. Uh, the third split time, and uh, it's very close to the arena, but we are not able to see the runners, unfortunately. Uh, 82 minutes and 58 seconds, the time for Emma Louise Arneson to that uh, uh, 16th control out of 23, out of 23. But it's a lot of running now on open areas, on open fields for the runners, both men and women, after that the punch at the control 54. Emily is on and still in fifth place at the first split, 254 there behind Tone Berger Lue. But she was more than four minutes behind the Tone Berger Lue to the um, uh, a little bit, yeah, more than four minutes behind at the second split time. Passata in uh, zona arena di arrivo, la prima atleta in gara è Louise Arnesen, siamo a quasi un'ora e 23 minuti di gara. Una lunga giornata per lei, una lunga giornata per tutti. So current standings, when we got, oh, first of all, we got the new best time to the first split time for the men. And it is another junior, Julien Vuitton from France, 43.32. That means almost one minute faster than Damiano Bettiga. So 43.32, 58 seconds faster than Damiano Bettiga for Julien Vuitton from France. The junior, the French junior, now the fastest to the first split time. Ci sono tutti gli atleti della riduci dai mondiali junior nelle prime posizioni della classifica in questo momento dopo circa 44 minuti di gara è balzato il comando il francese Julien Vuitton il suo tempo 43 minuti e 32 secondi 58 secondi di vantaggio su Damiano Bettega And at the same time we got the punch also from Anna Ulvensson to this uh, four, th sorry, third split time very close to the arena here just north of the arena 77.36, uh, that means more than five minutes faster than Emma-Louise uh, Arnesen, also from Norway. So Anna Ulvensson from Norway, 
also now heading out to the open areas for the cr to cross the road and take some controls on the way also, of course. And very soon they will punch the next intermediate time, the next split time, and it's very close to the arena, but we are not able to see them. I'm uh, sorry for that. Passata al secondo punto di controllo anche Martina Rizzi in quarta posizione, un'ora e quattro minuti circa il suo tempo, il miglior tempo al passaggio nella zona dell'arena, anche se noi non vediamo l'atleta, è quello di Anna Ulvenson, un'ora e diciassette minuti e trenta secondi circa. And uh, Tone Berger Lee started four minutes behind Anna Ulvensen. We'll be very interested to see her time very soon at that control, the third split time at control 54. 75 minutes running right now for uh, Tone. And the time to beat is 77.36. 77.36. At the first split time, it was only 13 seconds between the two of them. And now we got the punch from Tony berger Lee when I'm talking about it. 75-14, 75-14. So the lead is right now 2 minutes and 22 seconds for Tony berger Lee at the 16th control out of 23. Zona Arena, Tony berger Lee, dalla Norvegia, miglior tempo 75 minuti e 14 secondi. Il suo vantaggio di 2 minuti e 22 secondi sulla compagna di squadra Anna Ulvensson. Cecil Calandri è passata dopo circa 37 minuti di gara in quinta posizione al primo punto di controllo radio, l'atleta francese, la migliore in undicesima posizione in questo momento è sempre Martina Rizzi, undicesima al primo punto di controllo radio, quarta al momento al secondo punto di controllo radio. So waiting uh, pretty soon for the punch from Emma Louise Arneson, the first starter today in the club for the women. And very soon, 90 minutes running for um, uh, Emma Louise Arneson. And uh, she will punch a control very close to the arena, but just on the opposite side of the ridge, on the opposite side of this uh, field here. And then uh, they have uh, one, two controls, very tricky controls in this uh, area in the very end of the course and then a long long run into the last control over there on the open field and now we got the punch and let's see if we can if i can see emma louise arnesen heading into the forest over there maybe we can see a glimpse of her uh, maybe maybe the time for emma is uh, 90 minutes and nine seconds 90.09 the punch over there at the control 57 and they will pass a fence there and into the forest for two more controls to take, to pick, before the last control and the finish. Oh, it's not very visible. Dovremmo essere attorno all'ultimo quarto d'ora di gara per la prima atleta al via. 
La norvegese Marluisa Arnesen che è passata ancora in zona arena circa 90 minuti e 10 secondi. Intanto mi arrivano messaggi dalla strada. Mattia Scopele e Riccardo Casanova stanno correndo insieme. I due atleti junior che si conoscono anche molto bene per passate frequentazioni nella nazionale italiana. The three first finisher today should be Norwegian, definitely. Emma Louise Arnesen, Anna Ulvensson e Tone Bergerud Lye. So waiting now for Anna uh, Ulvensson to this uh, control 57, the fourth split time. And then we have the pre-warning and the finish. And now we got the punch from Mats Eitz more so the first starter among the men to the second split time. And he's still the first man to punch that control. But 75 minutes and 13 seconds. And it is a long, long way to go. He is not even halfway. It's a really tough course for the men today. Oh, shit. Yeah, 75 minutes for Mats Eismo and the 13 seconds. Passa in 75 minuti di gara Mats Eismo, il norvegese al secondo punto di controllo radio. Sarà una lunga giornata per lui e non sarà lunga soltanto per Eismo. Anche l'altra atleta, un'altra atleta che abbiamo visto tante volte in Italia, Karina Polzer, è passata in quarta posizione al primo punto di controllo radio dopo 35 minuti e 36 secondi circa. And now we got Anna Ulvensson also to this fourth split time, very close to the arena. Yes, on the opposite side of the field here and the opposite side of the ridge. 84 minutes and 55, 57 seconds. So 5-12, 5-12 faster than um, Emma Louise Arnesen also from Norway. Siamo a circa 85 minuti di gara per... Anna Ulvensson, lei almeno insieme ad Emma Louise Arnesen comincia a vedere la fine del tunnel di questa lunga gara long distance del Cansiglio. So waiting soon then for Tone Bergerli also to this uh, fourth split time. And waiting for the pre-warning in a couple of minutes for um, Emma Louise Arnesen and then Anna Ulvensson, of course. We got a new third best time, uh, sorry, a new second best time to the second split for the women. Uh, Cecilia Anderson from Great Britain, 57.42. That means 2.37 behind Tone berger lie for Cecilia Anderson from uh, Great Britain. Nuova seconda posizione tra le donne dopo circa un'ora di gara è Cecilia Andersen per la Gran Bretagna 57-42, distacco di più di due minuti e mezzo dalla leader della classifica. A breve potremo avere il primo passaggio al pre-warning per la prima atleta al traguardo di queste World Cup Final 2021. And now we got the punch also from Tone Bergerud Lie to the fourth split time. 82-38, 2-19, 2-19 faster than Anna Ulvensson. So that means that she has lost three seconds uh, to Anna Ulvensson between the third and fourth split time. So they are running pretty similar. But uh, the lead is clear for Tone Bergerud Lie. Early stage in this competition, of course. So we're waiting for the pre-warning and the finish very soon for this Three runners from Norway, Emma Louise Arnesen, Anna Ulvensson and Tone Bergerud Lie. At the same time, we got the new best time to the first split for the women. And it's another Norwegian, Victoria Hesta Björnstad. And the time is 33.11, 33.11. I compare with the Tone Bergerud Lie and she is 35 seconds faster than Tone Victoria Hesta Björnstad. The new best time to the first split for the women. Il nuovo miglior tempo al primo punto di controllo radio è sempre di Norvegia, si tratta di Victoria Estad Björnstad, 31 minuti e 11 secondi, il suo vantaggio è di 35 secondi dopo mezz'ora di gara, possiamo dire circa un quarto di gara per le donne, almeno per le prime ad essere partite.
potremmo avere a breve il passaggio di Damiano Bettega, forse il suo vantaggio era di 10 minuti e mezzo su Mazza Ezmo al primo punto di controllo radio, adesso Damiano Bettega se funzionasse in questo momento avrebbe 9 minuti circa di vantaggio sull'atleta norvegese. So the three first, uh, the Norwegian runners here, uh, Emma, Luis, Anna and Tune, they are in, into this last part of the course and uh, it is completely different compared with the first part because there's much more uh, features uh, inside this area and also a little bit more stony, I believe, in the ground if you compare with the first part which is very, very runnable but very, very tough because of the, um, uh, the contours. Decima posizione per Carlotta Scaletta al primo punto di controllo radio, 37 minuti e 13 secondi, 4 minuti di stacco da Victoria Estad Björstad. The running time right now for Emma Louise Arnesen is 98 minutes running very soon. And Dania, Damiano Bettiga now punched the second display time and still in a clear, clear lead. 67 minutes and 48 seconds. That means 7.25 faster than Mats Eismo. It was 11.27, so he has lost some four minutes compared with Mats Eismo, Damiano Bettiga. And he is not together what we can see with Francesco Mariani. Yes, there is. But Francesco is two minutes ahead of him in the first. So he's running faster than Damiano. Francesco Mariani sta cercando di divincolarsi dalla presa di Damiano Bettica. Infatti ha guadagnato due minuti. Quattro minuti li ha guadagnati Mats Eizmo. Ma Damiano Bettica continua a mantenere la leadership a 67 minuti e mezzo di gara circa. Yeah, so some troubles there for Damiano Bettiga from Italy. Uh, Francesco Mariano is running pretty good, but he is more than eight minutes behind Damiano Bettiga to that second split. And as I said, Mats Eidsmo 7.25 behind. He was 11.27 behind, so four minutes he has gained on the Damiano Bettiga. And still no pre-warning, waiting for that one from uh, Emma Louise Arnesen very soon, I believe. And very soon, one hour and 40 minutes running for Emma Louise Arnesen from Norway. Attendiamo ancora il pre-warning della prima atleta, come sanno i conoscitori del Cansiglio. La prima parte di gara, anzi i primi quattro quinti di gara, sono in una zona molto dura, ma anche molto corribile. L'ultima parte tra le pietre, tra le buche, si torna nella zona tipo Archeton e quindi cala la velocità, bisogna fare molta più attenzione ai dettagli, ci sono molte più dettagli in quella parte di Bosco che in qualunque altra parte della foresta del Cansiglio. Curioso vedere come Francesco Mariani, dopo essere stato raggiunto da Damiano Bettega, abbia ricominciato a volare, ha guadagnato praticamente un minuto e mezzo nella... in 20 minuti circa di gara, tre minuti recuperati da Mazza Ezmo negli stessi 25 minuti di gara circa su Damiano Bettega, forse Francesco Mariani coinvolto nell'errore, nel grande errore di Mazza Ezmo tra il punto 4 e il punto 5 di controllo. Now we got the punch also from Ricardo Casanova, Germany, to that second split time for the men into second position, 68 minutes and 34 seconds. That means he is 46 seconds behind Damiano Bettiga now. He was more than three minutes behind earlier.
Il rallentamento di Damiano Bettega è testimoniato anche dalla rimonta di Riccardo Casanova che dopo un distacco di circa 3 minuti si è posizionato ora a 46 secondi di distacco in seconda posizione dietro a Damiano Bettega. Siamo a 69 minuti di gara ormai per Riccardo Casanova. Passaggio anche di Ilian Angeli. E al primo punto di controllo radio Ilian Angeli viaggia con Guillaume Elias in seconda posizione, prima posizione per Guillaume Elias dalla Francia. Elias Guillaume from France, first year senior, and we got the new best time to the first split for the men. 39-36, 39-36. That means he is 2 minutes and 15 seconds faster than Ilian Angeli, uh, Angeli from Italy. And in third spot, Julien Vuitton, also from France, 3.56 behind. So that's a flying start, really, from Elias Guillaume from France. 39-36, the first sub-40 minutes to that first split for the men. Se la classifica in campo femminile recitava Norvegia, 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 adesso abbiamo Francia Italia, Francia Italia nelle prime quattro posizioni di questa ancora giovane giornata di long distance alla foresta del Cansiglio, Guillaume Elias con 2 minuti e 15 secondi su Ilian Angeli, al momento il migliore degli italiani in gara. I'm still waiting for the pre-warning from Emma Louise Arnesen, it is very tricky here in the end. And the pre-warning is the second last control, but they have some minutes to run before they, have, they can punch the last control and then the finish. Alistair Thomas from Great Britain heading into third position to the second split for the men, 68-52, one minute and four seconds behind Damiano Bettiga from Italy for Alistair Thomas, Great Britain. Siamo a un'ora e 44 minuti di gara per la prima atleta nella categoria femminile. Ancora nessuna notizia dal pre-warning, poi la vedremo sbucare qui sul pratone d'arrivo, dove comincia ad arrivare anche qualche spettatore. Arrivo completamente dritto e in leggerissima salita per spremere le ultime energie dalle gambe, dai muscoli degli atleti e delle atlete. Ultima parte di gara che potrà essere decisiva perché si cambia completamente tecnica di orientieri, si cambia completamente zona, si passa da un bosco con molti meno dettagli, soprattutto curve di livello, ma molto dolci, anche se continue, ad un bosco dettagliatissimo. Passiamo da una zona tipo Vallorc per gli orientisti italiani ad una zona tipo Archeton con tutte le differenze del caso Now it's uh, 15 minutes since the punch from Emma Louise Arneson at the control, very close to the arena here, just on the other side of the ridge over there. And uh, two more controls before the pre-warning, but still no punch from Emma Louise. It is very tricky in this area and also quite hilly, but uh, I expect the punch very, very soon from uh, some of the Norwegian runners there, Emma Louise Arneson, Anna Ulvensson, or Tone Bergerlie. Now I got the punch from Tone Bergerlie uh, at the pre-warning. So she will be the first finish today, I believe. 93 minutes and 51 seconds to that pre-warning for uh, Tone Bergerlie. So very soon we will be able to see her over there uh, on the opposite side, down there in the corner somewhere she will come. And then it's a quite long run to the last control and into the finish here on this big, big field. Sorpasso nel bosco Tone Bergerlie, ha superato la compagna di squadra Emma Louise Arnesen, dovremmo vederla a breve al di là della 
del grande prato qui a Tambre, foresta del Cansiglio, saranno almeno 500-600 metri di arrivo nel prato fino al traguardo. It will take at least one minute before she is out there on the field, down in the corner there. And also the punch at the pre-warning from Anna, uh, sorry, Emma Louise Arnes and also punch at the pre-warning, still waiting for Anna Ulvensson to punch the pre-warning. But let's see where we can see Tune somewhere down there in the corner. I have to look on the map. Yeah, it should be down there. I have to um, cross uh, two fences first of all and then over a ditch and then uh, it's a long long run to the last control out here on the open field. And still no punch from Anna Ulvensson at that pre-warning. Now we can see Tone down there. <laughs> far away really. Really far away. È un arrivo lunghissimo. La vediamo dall'altra parte del prato un puntino in corsa con la maglia bianca e rossa della Norvegia, la prima tenuta traguardo in questa World Cup Final d'Italia 2021. I need a binocular to be able to see the runners. It's quite a distance down there, but now she is on her way to the last control. Tone Bergerud Lye waiting also for Emma, Arnes, uh, Emma Louise Arnesen. And still no punch from Anna Ulvensson at that pre-warning, no. Dopo aver affrontato tutte le difficoltà del Cansiglio da Vallorca da Cheton, adesso anche il cross country nel finale per le atlete e gli atleti per spremere fino all'ultima stilla di energie dalle gambe, dai muscoli. The same time we got the new best time to the second split for the men and it's Julien Vuitton from France, the junior, 64 minutes and 22 seconds for Julien. So that means he is three minutes and one second ahead of the new second best time. Fredrik Prima from Poland. And in third spot, Damiano Bettega from Italy. 3.26 behind Julien Vuitton. That's quite a distance over here to the last control and the finish. Poor girls. Veramente una, diventata una gara di cross country adesso dopo le difficoltà di Archeton, le atlete sono in grado di sentire le voci dello speaker, vedono l'arrivo ma è così lontano, so close and so far. And very soon 98 minutes running for Tone Bergerud Lue from Norway. An expected win, uh, estimated winning time today for the women is 80 minutes, 80 minutes, she will be at approximately 20 minutes behind that estimated winning time today, Tone Bergerud-Lye. Let's see. For the men, it's 100 minutes. 100 minutes, the estimated winning time today. But Tone is getting closer and closer to that last control, and still no punch from Anna Ulvensson at that pre-warning. It is uh, possible to... Um, make mistakes in the very end. It's two tricky controls really, both the third last and second last control. È un arrivo che è pura fatica, è pura fatica fisica, lunghissimo, una linea dritta sul prato fino all'ultimo punto di controllo punzionato in questo momento, è il primo arrivo della World Cup Final Long Distance Italia 2021. So the first finish today, Tone Berger Lier from Norway, 99 minutes running right now for the Tone. Heading into the finish, right under one hour and 40 minutes, the finish time today for Tone Bergerud-Lye. But it is the first finish, great to see. And also Emma Louise Arnesen heading into the last control and still no punch from Anna Ulvensson at the pre-warning. Here is Tone now, Bergerud-Lye from Norway into the finish and some spectators Give her a hand now. 
The last meters into the finish for Tone Bergerud Lue from Norway. And right under one hour and 40 minutes for Tone today. Great to see you. And welcome to the finish, Tone. It's a really long run here in the end. Exhausted. Exhausted. And the finish time for Tone right there is one hour, 39 minutes and 45 seconds. Al traguardo la prima atleta, un'ora 39 minuti e 45 secondi su un tempo atteso per la vincitrice di circa 80 minuti, la norvegese Tone Berger Rodelie. È un arrivo di pura, pura fatica e anche leggermente in salita. Un'altra atleta che sta arrivando al traguardo è Emma Louise Arnesen, è veramente stravolta, sfinita l'atleta della Norvegia che sta completando la sua fatica. Le atlete sbucano nel pratone qui alla foresta del Cansiglio, possono vedere le strutture dell'arrivo e sono ancora lontane mezzo chilometro in linea d'aria ed è un mezzo chilometro di pura fatica, il cervello può spegnersi ma le gambe devono ancora pompare tanto. Emma Louise Arnesen also heading into the finish with bed number one today for Emma Louise. And the finish time right there for Emma Louise Arnesen is one hour, 52 minutes and 44 seconds. And now I got the punch also from Anna Ulvensson at the pre-warning. And she has lost eight minutes here in the very end. Wow. It is possible to make mistakes also in the very end of this course today. That's very, very obvious. Losing eight minutes in Arketon map is possible. Yeah, it is possible. It is possible. Also for the elite runners. And as I mentioned earlier, Victoria Hesta Bjornsta from Norway is uh, right now the fastest to the first split with a time of 33.11. 33.11. That means she is 35 seconds faster than the current leader in the finish, Tone Bergerud Lue from Norway. Dicevo a Per Forsberg che perdere 8 minuti nella mappa di Archetone è possibile, come a tanti di noi è capitato nelle varie gare di campionato italiano Coppa Italia, è possibile anche a livello di campionato del mondo, a livello di Coppa del Mondo Elite. <laughs> E ancora non avete visto nulla della media distanza. We will see at the middle distance uh, how difficult is that area. Archeton, very well known name for the Italian orienteers. Uh, from now on, very well known name also in all over the world. Archeton is the name of that. Nightmare. Ah, right Arketon. Yeah, yeah, Arketon. Yeah. And it will be 100% Arketon on Saturday. 100% <laughs> Arketon. We can't run a long distance in Arketon, no. definitely. <laughs> That's But good to know. It's Arketon. Now we have learned a new word. That's perfect. Uh, Vittoria Hesta Bjornstad from Norway, 53 minutes running right now. We knew that the Tone Bergerud-Lyen is still faster to the second split with a time of 55 minutes and 5 seconds. So very soon we are waiting for uh, Victoria Hesta Bjornstad to that second split for the women. And the junior, the French junior, Julien Vuitton, still in lead there at the second split. 64 minutes and 22 seconds, more than three minutes faster than Fredrik Prima from Poland. But it's very, very early days in this competition, I can tell you. The strong names is coming in the very end of the start list, because the start list is uh, based on the world ranking. So we have the best runners in the very end of the start list today, as it used to be. Più di 100 ore di pianificazione del percorso, oltre 18 tentativi. Questo di oggi è la diciottesima volta che veniva pianificato il percorso. More than 100 hours spent for planning this course. And this is the 
18th attempt. The course is is ready at the 18th attempt. Oh. This is the news from uh, the planners. And now we are waiting for Anna Ulvensön. She is heading in very soon to the last control, the last punch of today. And then a finish from Anna with a big, big mistake here in the very end of the course today. And it is possible, as uh, Stefano told us. Centosette minuti di gara per Martina Rizzi, che è passata in un'ora 37 minuti e mezzo al punto di controllo 57 in settima posizione. Sarà la prima atleta italiana a giungere sul traguardo. So, the last punch, and now we are welcoming Anna Ulvensen into the finish. Another from the Norwegian team. So, three Norwegian women so far into the finish. Tone Bergerud Lye, Emma Louise Arnesen, and now Anna Ulvensen heading into the finish. And the running time right now for Anna is uh, 1.40, 1.50 very soon. So it'll be just over one hour and 50 minutes here for Anna Ulvensson. After that uh, big mistake here in the very end of the course today from Anna. But welcome to the finish. Anna Ulvensson from Norway heading into the finish. Sta arrivando al traguardo Anna Ulvensson, la prima vittima del percorso di Archeton. Anche per lei 8 minuti di, di, di errore in questa parte di gara. Siamo a 110 minuti di gara per lei al traguardo. First victim today of the Archeton, Anna Ulvensson. And finish time for Anna, 1 hour 50 minutes and 13 seconds. So that means she is 10 minutes and 28 seconds behind the current leader, Tone Bergerud Lye, also from Norway. Il distacco tra le due atlete norvegesi è passato in poco più di 10 minuti di gara da 2.19 a 10.33 8 minuti persi su Archeton è possibile, succederà ancora e lo vedremo anche, temo, nella middle distance and waiting now also for Jana Peterova from the Czech Republic just punched the pre-warning so she is on her way the long, long way to the last control it's very long In your experience, maybe the longest uh, yeah, way to the last control. But you, you see, this is longer than Uringen, so that means it's very, very long. This is a sprint distance. <laughs> yeah, sort of, actually. So Jana Peterova, Czech Republic, on her way into the last control and finish in a couple of minutes, I believe. And uh, now we got the punch also from Victoria Hesta Björnstad to the second split. And the uh, time is, the new best time, 53 minutes and 16 seconds for Victoria. So that means she's 1.49 faster than Tone Bergerud Lye there in second position. So that means that Victoria has increased her lead by 1 minute and 12 seconds between the first and the second split. Compared with Tone Bergerud Lye also from Norway. Secondo punto di controllo radio, tre norvegesi al comando e adesso guida Victoria Estad Björnstad. 53 minuti e 16, due minuti circa il suo vantaggio sulla compagna di squadra. È incredibile vedere l'atleta sbucare nel bosco a... Saranno 600 metri, 500 metri di linea d'aria e poi vederle avanzare nel prato. Now we got the punch from Irina Lazareva, Russia, to the pre-warning, and we are waiting for a new second best time, I believe, but she's more than eight minutes late, compared with Tone Bergerud Lye from Norway. Her lead right now is more than ten minutes, so clearly we are waiting for a new second best time very soon, Irina Lazareva from Russia. But first of all, Jana Peterova, Czech Republic, should be vis visible, but I can't see her yet. Yep. Someone is seeing her, that's good. <laughs> Something far away. Jana, somewhere. And we're waiting for Irina Lazareva, Russia, very soon. Sono degli autentici puntini, dei pixel, lontani nel prato. 
And now we got the punch from Elias Guillaume from France. And he is still the fastest to the second split. 58 minutes and 52 seconds. The lead is now 5.30 down to Julien Vuitton. So it's double France right now uh, out there in the men's course. But he is running very fast, Elias Guillaume from France. So more than five minutes lead down to Julien Vuitton to the second split for uh, Elias. Elia Guillaume from France. È quasi un'immagine spettrale quelle delle atlete che arrivano al limitare del bosco e cominciano ad avanzare un pixel che diventa sempre più grosso. Adesso forse due pixel, ma è ancora molto lontana dall'ultimo punto di controllo. Now we can see a small small dot over there. Is Jana Peterova. For sure. Yeah. For sure. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You can recognize Jana from the running style. Yeah, definitely. So waiting for Jana Peterova. And also very soon for Irina Lazareva from Russia. At the same time, we got the new best time to the first split for the women. Marion Abbey from Switzerland. 32 minutes and one second. So that means 1.10. 1.10 faster than Victoria Hesta Björnstad from Norway. So Marion Abbey. Switzerland with a great start. Cominciano a muoversi i loro passi anche gli svizzeri con Marion Ebi, miglior tempo al primo punto di controllo radio. Siamo qui a commentare gli arrivi di atlete che sono partite 90 minuti prima dell'atleta che ha fatto appena segnare il miglior tempo dopo 33 minuti di gara la svizzera Marion Ebi. So Jana Peterova, Czech Republic, and also I can see now Irina Lazareva far away, also on her way to the last control, the last punch in this competition, this long distance here in Casilio, in Italy. E anche l'italiana Martina Rizzi arriverà a breve. A vista dello speaker e vedrà le strutture dell'arrivo e terminerà così la sua prima World Cup Final a lunga distanza Martina Rizzi. And we got the new, new second best time to the second split for the men. And it's the youngster, really, in the Italian team, Ilian Angeli. And the 63.50, 63.50, it is the second best, but he is almost five minutes behind Ilia Guillaume from France. Mantiene la seconda posizione Ilian Angeli al secondo punto di controllo radio dopo 63 minuti di gara, ma raddoppia il suo distacco da Guillaume Elias dalla Francia. Ora siamo a 5 minuti circa. So Jana Peterova, Czech Republic, heading into the finish, and Irina Lazareva, Russia, on her way to the last control. Waiting also for Martina Rizzi from Italy. She has punched the pre-warning. So very soon also on her way to the last control and the finish. So, Jana Peterova, Czech Republic, heading into the finish. Ecco l'atleta della Repubblica Ceca, siamo a 2 ore e 3 minuti e 20 secondi di gara per lei. Taglia il traguardo in questo momento in settima posizione. 2 hours, 3 minutes and 23 seconds. The finish time for Jana Peterova, Czech Republic. Elina Rasaleva on her way. And we have some more runners also on the way into the finish very soon. Uno dei puntini che si sta faticosamente avvicinando al traguardo potrebbe essere Martina Rizzi, Orientieri in Pergine e Asco Lugano. Italia e Svizzera accomunate dai passaporti dell'atleta ticinese, Ticino che non potrà schierare Elena Ross, infortunatasi recentemente. La prima riserva era Elena Pezzati, anche lei del Ticino, Scomendrisio, che ha preso il posto di Elena Ross. 
qui a questa finale di Coppa del Mondo di Foresta del Cassiglio e Cortina d'Ampezzo. So Irina Lazareva, uh, Russia, heading into a new second best time. Running time right now is 1.48. It will be just under 1.49 here for Irina. So the finish from Elina Razareva, Russia. Into second spot right now, right behind the Tone Bergerud Lye, the current leader, 1.39.45. And here is 1.49 flat, maybe. No, 1.48.59 for Elina Lazareva. Uh, nine minutes and 14 seconds behind Tone Bergerud Lye from Norway. And at the same time, we've got the new second best time to the second split for the men. Magnus Devet from Denmark, 62 minutes and 42 seconds, 3.50 behind Ilya Giam from France. Il danese Magnus Devet ha preso la seconda posizione dopo un ore e due minuti di gara tra gli uomini. Irina Lazareva dalla Russia è arrivata al traguardo in seconda posizione a 9 minuti e 14 secondi da Tone Bergerud-Lieu che ha sicuramente ben interpretato le fatiche e le difficoltà del terreno. Uh, just passing the control very close to the arena, but not visible. Uh, Cecilia Anderson from Great Britain in third spot at the last split time before the pre-warning and the finish. Uh, 86-34, 3.56 behind Tone bergerud Lee at that time for Cecilia Anderson. Let's see her finish. The last controls and the finish from Cecilia. Maybe a new second best time in a while from uh, the Brit. Stato arrivando intanto Ilvi Kastner per l'Austria e subito dietro Martina Rizzi per l'Italia. Sono loro nella running in questo momento. Ilvi Kastner from Austria and Martina Rizzi from Italy. Now heading into the finish. And Ilvi Kastner from Austria, 1.55 very soon, 1 hour 55 minutes running for Ilvi. She's coming here together with Martina Rizzi from Italy. Ilvi Kastner, winner of the five days of Italy when she was uh, 16 years old from Austria, very soon at the finish line. So here they are, the last meters now after this very, very long distance competition here in Cancillo today. Ilvi Kastner, Martina Rizzi. Vai Martina! Ecco il traguardo, taglia il traguardo in questo momento Martina Rizzi. Vado a cogliere qualche parola da parte di Martina Rizzi. Non al microfono, poi riferirò. So Ilvi Kastner into fifth position right now, 155-16, and uh, Martina Rizzi into sixth position, 159-20. The finish time for Martina. Still no punch from any man uh, at the uh, third split time, just before they are heading out on the open areas, open fields, uh, north of the arena here, and then they had the road passage before the last part. But still no punch there from none of the men. Waiting for that one pretty soon, I believe. Elia Guillaume from France, still the fastest to both the first and second split. And he's clearly the fastest to the second split. 58 minutes and 52 seconds for Elia Guillaume from France. Almost four minutes faster than Magnus de Wett from Denmark there in second. Rizzi ha riferito che, vabbè, ok, a parte la battuta che era troppo corta, era anche facile, ha perso un po' di terreno nella, nella parte di Archetona, anche lei vittima del terreno di gara di Archetona. Abbiamo visto purtroppo arrivare al traguardo dall'altra parte del campo gara Damiano Bettega, zoppicante, 
dopo una gara sicuramente molto positiva Damiano Bettega ha dovuto fermarsi per un infortunio forse al ginocchio Damiano Bettega stopped the race ah ok in the other part of the finish yeah. area ok also Martina had some problem at the knee she was uh, talking with uh, Ilvi Kastner she said uh, not so short very long distance and uh, she was the second victim of the Akaton area losing uh, many minutes uh, in the Akaton area we will see if we'll have some uh, famous victim uh, after the long distance today and what about the next Saturday the middle distance now we got the first punch from the third split in the men's race today and it's little Mats Eitzmo despite his very, very big mistake on the fifth control. It was more than 10 minutes mistake from Mats Eismo. We knew that from the GPS tracking. Uh, but he's still the first one to punch this uh, third split time. And his running time right now is one hour, 55 minutes and 36 seconds. And it's still not over yet. Very long running times today. And now they will get into this Arketon, what, what is it? Arketon, the Arketon area. Very, very specific area and very, very tricky. We have seen some mistakes already in the women's race here in the very end of the course today. Arketon is a very famous name for Italian orienteers. Uh, from uh -huh. now on, it will be very famous also for international orienteers. International orienteers, <laughs> for sure. Yeah, yeah. I'm waiting also pretty soon for Victoria Hesta Björnstad to uh, that uh, control just before they enter the open area and the Arketon area. So in uh, some small minutes, I believe, we will have Victoria Hesta Björnstad to that control 54, the third split for the women. De Bertolis uh, per l'Italia è passato in uh, settima posizione al uh, primo punto di controllo radio dopo 45 minuti di gara. Il suo distacco è di 5 minuti e 21 secondi dal francese Guillaume Elias che continua a guidare e guida anche al secondo punto di controllo radio davanti al danese Magnus De Vette e all'italiano Ilian Angeli. And now we've got the punch from Cecilia Anderson, Great Britain at the pre-warning and we are definitely waiting for a new second best time. She is approximately four minutes late compared with the Tone Bergerud Lye, the current leader in the finish, 139.45. But uh, Cecilia Anderson on her way to the last control in a couple of minutes, we can say. Anche Elena Pezzati per la Svizzera è passata al primo punto di controllo radio in sesta posizione. Due minuti di distacco dalla sua compagna di squadra Marion Aebi, l'atleta dello SCOM Mendrisio, richiamata in nazionale come prima riserva per l'infortunio di Elena Ross, Elena Pezzati in gara. Lei ha vinto il suo primo World Ranking Event, Elena Pezzati, era ancora junior, l'ha vinto in Italia, a Monte San Primo in Lombardia, quattro anni fa. Vediamo se l'Italia le porterà fortuna anche quest'anno, anche quest'oggi. Lei che gareggia anche per il Fonzaso, un team non lontano da qui, dalla zona della foresta del Cansiglio. I got the punch from Karina Polzer from Austria at the third split time, just before they enter the open areas and the last part. And she is in third position at this point of the course, Karina Polzer. Uh, just uh, only less than three minutes behind Tone Bergerud Lye from Norway. But now I got the punch from Victoria Hesta Björnstad at this third split time. And she is still in lead, 73 minutes and 22 seconds. That means 1.52 faster than Tone Bergerud Lye. So they are running in a pretty much the same speed right now. Victoria Hesta Björnstad and Tone Bergerud Lye. But Victoria Hesta Björnstad still the fastest. Sempre tre norvegesi al comando anche al terzo punto di controllo radio, siamo a 73 minuti di gara, Victoria Estad Björnstad guida con quasi due minuti di vantaggio su Tone Berger Udlive, negli ultimi 20 minuti il distacco tra le due atlete è stato di tre soli secondi.
the finish from Tori Boris from the US and also got the punch from the pre-warning from Laura King, Great Britain, on her way into the finish, but she is late. Compared with the best times right now. And Marion Abbey, the current leader to the first split, 32 minutes and one second. Her running time right now is 47 minutes for Marion Abbey. The time to beat is 53.16 for Victoria Hesta Bjornstad to the second split. Also got a punch from Francesco Mariani, the junior from Italy at the third split time, just before they enter the open areas and the last part of the course. And uh, he is in lead, 155.27, but right now only nine seconds faster than Mats Eidsmo. So Francesco Mariani also in the very end of the course right now. Campo femminile al primo punto di controllo radio, Mario Nebi guida su Vittoria Esther Bjornstad che è la leader al secondo punto di controllo radio, anche al terzo, attesa tra poco al quarto punto di controllo, siamo a circa 78 minuti di gara per lei in questo momento. And now we've got the punch from Ricardo Casanova at the third split, just before they enter the last part of the course. And he is in a clear lead right now, 147.16, more than eight minutes faster than Francesco Mariani. So he's running pretty good right now, Ricardo Casanova. And uh, we also got the punch from Mats Eismo just before he, punched, he entered the last part. And some uh, small deers over there. And the finish from Cecilia Anderson from Great Britain into second spot right now. 1.43.45, the finish time for Cecilia Anderson. Four minutes, exactly four minutes behind Tone Bergerlier from Norway. Passaggio di Riccardo Casanova, siamo a 107 minuti di gara, guida la classifica con 8 minuti su Francesco Mariani e 8 minuti e 20 secondi su Mats Eizmo, che sarà probabilmente il primo atleta ad arrivare al traguardo in campo maschile. Siamo ormai a 125 minuti di gara per l'atleta norvegese. Sienia Penzina from Russia, also heading into the finish. I'm very, very tired and almost exhausted after this very tough race here in Italy in Cancelio. Very tough and very demanding the race today. I got the pre-warning from Ricardo Scaniel from US uh, with bib number 204, fourth starter today at the uh, second last split time, the split time just before the pre-warning. 
and he has been out for very soon two hours. Maybe it's correct because I don't have any other split times at all from Ricardo Scaniel from the US. So a little bit of question mark there. And waiting very soon for Victoria Hesta Björnstad from Norway to the last split before the pre-warning at control 57. Right now, 80 minutes running. 80 minutes running right now for Victoria Hesta Björnstad from Norway. And now I got the punch from Victoria, just over here, some uh, 300 meters away, approximately, but I can't see her, but she is in lead, 80 minutes and 16 seconds, that means 2.22, 2.22, faster than Tone berger -Lie, also from Norway. So she has been 30 seconds faster over the open areas, Victoria Hesta Björnstad, with two tricky controls now to take before the pre-warning and the finish. At the same time, we got the new second best time to the second split for the women. So never brought in another woman from the Norwegian team. 54, 42, 125 behind Victoria Hensta Björnstad, but faster than the Tone Berger Lye, the current leader in the finish. Sempre Norvegia sugli scudi con uh, Victoria Estad Björnstad, in gara da 81 minuti in questo momento, sarà lei a guidare la classifica molto presto, mentre Riccardo Scasanova in campo maschile dopo 103 minuti di gara è scavalcato da Julien Vuitton della Francia, 4 minuti il distacco di Riccardo Casanova in questo momento dopo 107 minuti di gara. And uh, Julien Vuitton from uh, France uh, is still running very, very good up there. Now he punched his control just before the open area and the last part of the course. In a clear, clear lead, really. 1.43.18. He's together there with Riccardo Casanova from Italy, who, which is, uh, who is uh, four minutes behind. No, sorry, they are not together. They are not together, but his lead is uh, four minutes. Four minutes ahead of Ricardo Casanova. So Julien Vuitton with the last part to go in a clear lead. And waiting for Ricardo Casanova. Soon to that uh, control just over here. Not far away from the finish. Continua a viaggiare forte la Svizzera Marion Aebi che mantiene la testa della classifica anche al secondo passaggio al... No, 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 mio, mio errore. 
seconda posizione per lei al secondo punto radio il suo vantaggio su, sulla norvegese Victoria Epstad Bjornstad era di 1 minuto e 10 adesso è 2 minuti e 38 dietro quindi non c'è soltanto Archeton che fa danni ma anche altre parti del bosco del Cansiglio Yes, so Elsa Kutze, uh, the Latvian junior, heading into fifth place right now in the finish. 1.58.57, the finish time for Elsa Kutze from Latvia. 12 minutes and 12 seconds behind the current leader. That is Tone Bergrud Lye from Norway. Waiting soon for the pre-warning from Victoria Hesta Bjornstad. And maybe a new best time. The lead was a little bit more than two minutes at the last split time, just before the last part of the course. And waiting soon for the pre-warning from Mats Eitzmo and Francesco Mariani and later on for Riccardo Casanova. Uh, three of the, all three of them are out there on the last part of the course, the very, very tricky area. Arketon is the name, uh, tricky area, it's right. Uh, you can lose, you can win. Uh, And we got the pre-warning also from the junior from France, Cécile Colantry, and waiting probably for a new third best time there. Right behind Tone Berger Lyde and uh, Lyde and uh, Cécile Anderson. One and two right now in the finish. Mats Eidsmo atteso come primo atleta in campo maschile al traguardo, poi subito dietro dovremo avere Francesco Mariani e poi Riccardo Casanova dovrebbero essere questi primi tre atleti aggiungere sul traguardo di Foresta del Cansiglio la zona di Tambre and waiting soon for um, Julien Vuitton Uh, the French junior uh, is running really good today and waiting him to the last split time before the uh, Arcaton area, the two last controls before the, fin the last control and the finish. So he should be there any second, I believe. He's in clear lead ahead of Ricardo Casanova and Frederic Prima from Poland. Sta cercando di domare le difficoltà di Archeton, anche Carlotta Scaletta al momento accreditata dell'undicesima posizione. Dopo 91 minuti di gara, Carlotta Scaletta che si è disimpegnata così bene ai campionati mondiali in un'altra area molto difficile di gara in Repubblica Ceca. Viaggia con 10 minuti e mezzo di ritardo in questo momento su Victoria Hestad Björnstad. And a new second best time to the first split for the women, uh, Veronika Kalinina from Russia, 32 minutes and 44 seconds. That means she is 43 seconds behind the current leader. But it was Marion Abbey, but Marion Abbey has done some mistakes later on. So we compare with the Victoria Hesta Björnstad instead, and that means that Veronica Kalinina is some 25 seconds ahead of her. And now I got the punch from Julien Vuitton, the French junior, at the split time very close to the arena, but not visible. And uh, the lead is uh, three and a half minutes, three and a half minutes down to Ricardo Casanova from Germany and uh, Alistair Thomas from Great Britain. He is together with Julien Vuitton, so six minutes behind. I atleti passano vicino all'arena ma non sono visibili, c'è una collinetta davanti a noi che rende impossibile vedere il passaggio degli atleti. Al momento dopo 110 minuti di gara, Julien Vuitton in Francia al comando con 3 minuti e 35 secondi di vantaggio su Riccardo Casanova. 
And now we got the punch from Hanna Lundberg, the winner from Idrifjell and the middle distance, the junior, the Swedish junior. 33 minutes and two seconds to that first split. That means she's nine seconds faster than Victoria Hesta Björnstad. So that's a solid start from Hanna Lundberg, the Swedish junior, to that first split time. I'm still waiting for the pre-warning from the first men today and also waiting for the pre-warning from the Victoria Hesta Björnstad from Norway. La vincitrice di Idrefjell, la junior Anna Lundberg, è passata in terza posizione con un minuto di ritardo da Mario Naebi dopo 33 minuti di gara. A breve dovremmo avere qui anche il primo uomo, Mats Eidsmo. Ah, now we got the punch from Mats Eidsmo from Norway. The first man today to punch that pre-warning. His running time right now is 2 hours and 16 minutes. 2 hours and 60 minutes right now for Mats Eidsmo. And he has some minutes still to run into the last control down there on this very big open field. But we knew that it was a big mistake from Mats Eismo at the fifth control. Uh, approximately 10 minutes mistake there from Mats. But it is a really long running time today. So Fiona Bunn from Great Britain heading into the finish. Waiting for the punch from Victoria Hesta Björnsson. Now I got the punch from Victoria at the pre-warning and we are definitely waiting for a new best time in a couple of minutes from Victoria Hesta Björnsson from Norway. And she's together there with Karina Pulzer from Austria. Started six minutes ahead of Victoria Hesta Björnsson. So, Cécile Colangri from France heading into the finish and into a finish time right there for Cécile Colangri into third place right now. 1.45.46, six minutes and one second behind Tone Bergerud Lue from Norway. Arrivato al traguardo anche Cécile Colangri, terza posizione per lei. Siamo a 105 minuti di gara circa. L'atleta, doppio passaporto. Grecia per la Francia e in Italia per Lago Rosso, Bergamo. Mentre attendiamo Victoria Estad Björnstad con il nuovo miglior tempo per la Norvegia, l'atleta che è sempre stata al comando delle operazioni fin dal secondo punto di controllo. So into third there, the French junior Cecile Colangri into third place right now. So waiting for um, Victoria Hesta Björnstad very soon. But first of all, Mats Eitzmo, the first man to um, reach the finish today. Ha annunciato il pre-warning anche Francesco Mariani, è in gara da 135 minuti, ha al momento 1 minuto e 15 secondi di vantaggio da amministrare su Baz Eizmo nell'ultima parte di gara uscendo da Archetone, approcciando l'enorme Prato, mai vista una cosa del genere prima neanche da Per Forsberg, neanche a Loringen per arrivare qui al traguardo. The junior world champion in sprint, Francesco Mariani, the Italian, just punched a pre-warning. So he's on his way also through loss control uh, pretty soon. And he has a little bit better time than uh, Mats Eitzmo from Norway at the pre-warning. Waiting for Riccardo Casanova pretty soon. The German, the Italian German to that pre-warning with an even better time, I believe. Riccardo Casanova ha superato da tre minuti le due ore di gara, si installerà in prima posizione per il momento al, al suo arrivo, così come Francesco Mariani, poi andremo a vedere come evolverà la posizione in classifica anche per questi forti atleti junior, protagonisti degli ultimi Junior World Championship in Turchia. So some runners now heading into the finish. 
And we are waiting for Mats Eitzmo, the first man to reach the finish. And of course, for Victoria Hesta Björnsla from Norway. We are waiting for a new best time. So the finish here from Tesla Toba from Estonia. And also Patricia Nike from Germany. And also from Italy. Lucchetta, Jessica Lucchetta al traguardo per l'orientiero in terzo, la ragazza di casa taglia il traguardo in questo momento, la sua long distance si è completata per Jessica Lucchetta al momento sedicesima posizione, 2 ore 10 minuti 52 secondi per lei. And now we have the finish from Mats Eitzmo, the first man to start today, but also the first man to reach the finish, despite his very big mistake at the fifth control. Uh, early on in the race, but um, he is a fighter, Mats Eitzmo, heading into the finish. And the running time right now is two hours and 21 minutes for Mats Eitzmo. Here he is. I wait later on from Francesco Mariani from Italy, but Mats Eitzmo, the first man to um, finish today. Arriva il traguardo norvegese Mats Eitzmo, partito per primo, arrivato per primo al traguardo, siamo molto alti con i tempi, 2 ore 21 minuti 27 secondi per lui. 2 hours 21 minutes and 47 seconds for Mats Eitzmo. At the same time we got uh, Elia Guillaume from France to the third split and he is still in lead. And we also got Ricardo Casanova, Germany, through pre-warning. And we are waiting clearly for a new best time. Two hours and six minutes running right now for Ricardo Casanova. But first of all, we waiting for Francesco Mariani, the junior, the junior world champion in sprint, heading into the finish very soon. Il campione del mondo junior, Francesco Mariani, Orsa Maggiore Roma, Italia, starà per arrivare a breve al traguardo. Dovrebbe essere qui nel giro di un paio di minuti. Potrebbe essere uno dei puntini che vediamo and Victoria Hesta Björnstad from Norway heading into the finish and we are waiting for a new best time. 96 minutes running right now. It will be just over 97 minutes here for Victoria Hesta Björnstad. And also Karina Polzer from Austria heading into the finish right behind Victoria. But first of all, Victoria Hesta Björnstad, and this is a new current leader in this long distance here in, in Cancelio in Italy for Victoria and the finish time is 97 minutes and 10 seconds and Karina Polzer heading into the finish right here into right now a third position I believe yes indeed for Karina Polzer and the time is 1.43.17 17 six minutes and seven seconds behind Victoria Hesta Björnstad Nuova leader della classifica per la Norvegia, Victoria Estad Bjørnstad, arrivata al traguardo stravolta, 97 minuti e 10 secondi, dietro di lei al terzo posto Karina Polzer, arriva anche in questo momento in sesta posizione la cieca Teresa Cecova, attendiamo Francesco Mariani, ecco Francesco Mariani sulla run-in. Yeah. Eh. The world champion, junior world champion in sprint, Francesco Mariani, the junior on this very long, long distance here in Italy. Nice to see you Francesco. Eccolo qui, la medaglia d'oro per l'Italia, i campionati mondiali junior in Turchia, nella distanza sprint, occhi sbarrati, ultimo metro per lui, Francesco Mariani completa la sua fatica in 2 ore, 20 minuti, 4 secondi, 140 minuti di fatica per lui. 2 ore, 20 minuti e 4 secondi per Francesco Mariano, se we stop the competition now, he will win. We can stop the competition, yeah. ok, definitely, <laughs> we can do that. No, 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 of course not. Uh, waiting for Ricardo Casanova very soon. Also to the last control and finish. And uh, we are waiting definitely for a new best time. Anche Riccardo Casanova, atleta che ha vinto un titolo italiano, gareggia per la nazionale tedesca, sarà qui con il miglior tempo. Potremmo fermare la gara anche dopo l'arrivo di Riccardo Casanova, ovviamente. Ma non lo faremo, non l'abbiamo fatto per Francesco Mariani. A breve qualche parola anche da parte del campione del mondo sprint distance 2021 in carica. La prima medaglia d'oro per l'Italia ai campionati del mondo junior. 
And now we got the punch from Teresa Janoshikova, Czech Republic to the first split, showing some great form right now. Teresa Janoshikova won both Euro meetings in Switzerland the last weekend, and she is the fastest to the first split time. Teresa, 31:56 compared with Victoria Hesta Bjornsta, she is one minute and 15 seconds faster than uh, Victoria Hesta Bjornsta. So Teresa Janoshikova, the current leader to the first split. Un vantaggio di 5 secondi al primo punto di controllo radio dopo 32 minuti di gara per la cieca Teresa Janosikova, vincitrice dell'ultimo Euro Meeting. E now also got the punch from Julien Vuitton from France, the junior. And right now two hours running for Julien Vuitton. He will take a clear lead here compared with Riccardo Casanova. He is six minutes faster through that pre-warning. And Ricardo is coming down there, I believe. Vedo i colori bianco, giallo e un po' di nero della nazionale tedesca. Potrebbe essere Riccardo Casanova. Già protagonista della long distance ai campionati mondiali assoluti quest'anno. Lotta per la prima posizione, poi verrà scavalcato dal francese Julien Vuitton, ma rimarrà secondo a lungo Riccardo Casanova in questa sequenza di arrivi. And Julien Vuitton is still together with Alistair Thomas from Great Britain to punch that pre-warning together. So they are on the way very soon. But first of all, Ricardo Casanova, Germany, is coming down here. And we are waiting for a new best time for uh, the German, Ricardo Casanova. Two hours and ten minutes running right now for Ricardo. Riccardo Casanova, gli ultimi metri in salita per lui. Non manca niente a questo lungo arrivo, anche la salita sull'erba morbida il terreno che non risponde più e non dà più spinta alle gambe degli atleti Riccardo Casanova in gara in questo momento da 2 ore 11 minuti vede il traguardo and here is now Riccardo Casanova great to see you Riccardo and this is a clear new best time in the finish for Riccardo Casanova from Germany and the finish time is 2 hours 11 minutes and uh, some seconds, 13, I believe. <laughs> but waiting now for Julien Vuitton from France, the junior, together with Alistair Thomas, Great Britain, heading into the loss control in a few minutes, I believe. And this is a good race from uh, Julien, two hours and three minutes running right now. The estimated winning time today is 1.40, 100 minutes. Let's see if they are capable to run into that time today. To the second split, Grace Malloy, a Great Britain, heading into second spot there. 54 minutes and 8 seconds, 52 seconds behind Victoria Hesta Bjornsta. And to the first split, Emma Biesmo from the strong Swedish team, 32-21. That means 25 seconds behind Teresa Janoshikova. But clearly faster than Victoria Hesta Bjornsta, for example. I primi commenti da Riccardo Casanova è stato molto divertente so funny, but... A big mistake in the Akiton area, another victim of ah. the Akiton area, Riccardo Casanova. Yeah. Not the first and not the last. And Alistair Thomas and Julien Vuitton from France heading into the finish. And Julien with a big, big time here. And this is clearly the fastest time so far in the race from the French junior, Julien Vuitton. Here he comes together with Alistair Thomas from Great Britain. Great to see you, Julien. Ali, 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 and the finish time for Julien Vuitton right there, two hours, five, sorry, I uh, have to <laughs> read the right, two minutes, two hours, five minutes and five seconds the time for Julien Vuitton, but another French guy is running very fast today is uh, Ilya Guillaume, and he just punched the control uh, just before the pre-warning, and he is, compared with Julien Vuitton, more than seven minutes faster. He is running really good today. Ci sono dei distacchi che si misurano col campanile. Il francese Guillaume Elias è in vantaggio di oltre sette minuti sul compagno di squadra Julien Vuitton che ha appena completato la sua fatica con un chiaro margine su Riccardo Casanova. 
So Ilya Guillaume from France running pretty good today and he is on the way now into the Arcaton area. The two last controls before the last controller finish. And it's the finish from Hanna Müller from Germany. And to the first split time, uh, we had Ilya Guillain from France in lead, 39.36. But now we got a new best time to the first split time for the men. Janis Bonnik, Austria, 39.18. 18 seconds faster than Ilya Guillain from France. So that's a great start for Janis Bonnik, Austria. Mi sembra di vedere anche sul fondo del campo di gara potrebbe essere Carlotta Scalet che sta arrivando al traguardo. Comunque un'atleta italiana, ultimi metri del percorso per, per lei è Francesca Taufer che sta per completare la sua fatica, Francesca Taufer, ultimi metri del percorso. Oh, dopo Francesca Taufer arriva al traguardo anche Alice Selem, sempre per l'Italia, anche per lei la sua prima long distance e questo è il World Cup, completa la sua fatica, stringe i denti, un sorriso per lei a sentire l'annuncio del suo nome, taglia il traguardo tra gli applausi Alice Selem. Uh, to the second split for the women, Veronica Kalina is still running pretty good out there. She punched it in, uh, the, time, uh, in the time of 53.17, only one second behind Victoria Hesta Björnsta. So Veronica Kalina is running good out there in the race for the women. So waiting soon for the pre-warning from Ilya Guillaume from France. Definitely very interested to see his uh, pre-warning and the finish later on, of course. Sta arrivando ancora un'altra tenda italiana. Si tratta di Carlotta Scalette. Per Carlotta Scalette sarà lei ad inserirsi tra le prime in questo momento un tempo approssimativo, una undicesima posizione per lei. Al traguardo siamo a un'ora, 51 minuti e 33 secondi, continua a correre il suo tempo, un'ora e 51 e 30 circa per Carlotta Scalette al traguardo. So in the men's race right now, Julien Vuitton from France in lead, two hours, five minutes and five seconds. And um, in the race for the women, Victoria Hesta Björnsta, Norway in lead, 137.10, 137.10 for Victoria. But waiting very soon for Elia Guillaume from France to the pre-warning. Uh, running time right now is one hour and 48 minutes. So it's a pretty good race today from Elia. If he can handle the Arcaton area, of course. That's the question. That's the question. We have to manage uh, with Arcaton. We have to deal <laughs> with Arcaton. Then yeah. you can go to the finish line. But before, we have to deal with Arcaton. That's and as we mentioned before, the Arcaton area is in play on Saturday. The whole course, actually. The whole course uh, of Saturday will be in Arcaton, and we will see fireworks. Uh, 
<laughs> yeah, probably Anna Dorianska from Russia heading into the finish. And also Anna Isabel Toledo Navarro from Spain. Very tough race today for both men and women, definitely. mentioned earlier that Magnus De Wett from Denmark started pretty good in second place, still at the second split, but he has lost some time now. Just punched the control just before they enter the Arcaton area, the last part of the course, but now he is five and a half minutes behind Ilya Guillaume from France. So some mistakes there from Magnus De Wett from Denmark. Uh, waiting still for the pre-warning from Ilya Guillaume from France. 1.50 now, 1 hour and 50 minutes running for Ilya Guillaume. Elena Pizzati è passata al terzo punto di controllo radio in 76 minuti netti, in quarta posizione tra l'atleta e fino a quel momento in gara, 2 minuti e 38 secondi di ritardo da Victoria Estad Bjornstad. Elena Pizzati per la Svizzera, gareggia anche per il Fonzaso. And now we got the punch from Hanna Lundberg, the Swedish junior, at the second split. And now she is in lead, 52-36. 52-36, that means 40 seconds faster than Victoria Hesta Bjørnstad. Arrivato al traguardo anche Mattia Scopella, anche lui per il Fonzaso in campo maschile. Il ragazzo con la moto giunge al traguardo in settima posizione, 2 ore 27 minuti 38 secondi, la sua prima long distance. And at the fourth place, just before it entered the last part of the course, Sinovi brought the Norway in second spot, 82-32, 2.16 behind Victoria Hesta Bjornstad. So she's on her way to the pre-warning and the last controls, Sinovi brought them from Norway. And still waiting for the pre-warning from uh, Ilya Guillaume from France. Still no punch there. And maybe some problems there for Ilya in the Arcaton area. Un atleta che potrebbe uscire bene da Archeton è l'austriaco Janis Bonek, che è stato protagonista ai campionati italiani middle distance di quest'anno, che si sono corsi in una zona molto simile. E ora abbiamo il punch da Jens Rönnholz da Svezia, e abbiamo il nuovo best time per il primo split. 38 minuti e 27 secondi per Jens Rönnholz. Uh, compared with Julien Vuitton, the current leader in the finish, he's more than five minutes faster. But compared with Ilya Guillaume, he is one minute and nine seconds faster. Uh, Jens Rönnholz from Sweden. Annunciato il pre-warning anche per il francese Guillaume Elias, dopo la zona di Archeton. Jens Rönnholz al momento al comando, dopo 38 minuti di gara, un minuto di vantaggio su Guillaume Elias. Should also mention that Lucas Lilan started ahead of Jens Rönnholz. Also great start from Lucas. Uh, in ninth position in the overall World Cup standings right now, actually. Uh, and 38-37, he's only 10 seconds behind Jens Rönnholz. Uh, Lucas Lilan from Norway. And now we got the punch from Ilya Guillaume at the pre-warning. And he is still in lead. He has lost some seconds compared with the split just before. But uh, we will have a new leader with approximately seven minutes margin for Ilya Guillaume from France in a couple of minutes.
Anna Lionberry in campo femminile ha preso la testa della classifica dopo 52 minuti di gara 40 secondi sulla norvegese Victoria Estad Bjornstad Jens Ronalds con 10 secondi di vantaggio su Lucas Leland dopo 40 minuti circa di gara ma Elias Guillem sarà qui tra poco So waiting for the French runner, Ilya Guillarm. It's one man running fast down there. Could be Ilya. Because it's quite high speed. Martin Rudny from Czech Republic heading in. And a new third best time to the first split right now. Thomas Kirivda, Czech Republic, 38-48, 21 seconds behind Jens Rönnold from Sweden. And I think it is Ilya Guillem from France, down there on the field. Approaching the last control. But it has at least a minute or more to run for Ilya Guillaume from France. It's a very impressive race today, I must say, for Ilya. Quindi a breve faremo la conoscenza con Guillaume Elias, il francese che ha guidato la gara Fin dall'inizio adesso sta lottando con Jens Ronalds e Lucas Leland che sono circa un'ora dietro di lui sul terreno di gara di Cansiglio e Archeton. Tra le donne in questo momento la migliore delle italiane è Carlotta Scaletta, tredicesima al traguardo. Abbiamo al ventesimo, ventunesimo posto Martina Rizzi, ventiseiesima Francesca Taufer, ventisettesima Jessica Lucchetta, trentaduesima Alice Selem. And uh, into finish we have a new uh, third best time in the women's class, Emni Jalava from Finland, one third 42 right now. So Emni Jalava heading into a new third best time right now, right behind uh, Victoria Hesta Björnstam and Tone Bergerud Lye from Norway. So Enni Alava into third spot right now. Great to see Enni. And the finish time for Enni Alava today is 1 hour 42 minutes and 56 seconds, I would say. And now Ilya Guillarm is approaching the last control. Ultimi metri del percorso per il francese Guillaume Elias. Sta risalendo l'ultimo dislivello dei circa 800 metri dislocati sul percorso da Gabriele Bettega, Ivano Bettega ed Emiliano Corona su oltre 19 km di lunghezza. So one hour 58 minutes running very soon. The first sub two hours today. Ilya Guillaume from France heading into the finish. Clearly a new best time right now for the Frenchman. Great to see Ilya and welcome to the finish. And the finish time today for the Frenchman is one hour 58 minutes. And the seconds right there, one hour 58 seconds and 11 preliminary. And definitely a new best time for Ilya Guillaume from France. Ah, great to see, great to see. And also the finish from um, Lucas Pataida from Italy. So waiting for the official finish time. The time doesn't stop right now in my computer, but clearly a new best time there from Ilya Guillaume from France, definitely. 
è arrivato al traguardo anche Lucas Patscheider subito dietro al francese Guillaume Elias Maia Bouby from France heading into the finish And now I got the punch from Sunever Broten from Norway at the pre-warning. And we are waiting for a new second best time, I believe. She will not beat Victoria Hesta Bjornsson. She is, uh, she is some two minutes behind. At the pre-warning, but Sunever Broten, Norway, on her way to the finish very soon. Right now we have no threats at all on the, in the last part for Victoria Hesta Bjornsson and her leading time, 1.37.10. Maël Bovier, France, al traguardo qualche istante fa, sempre Julien Vuitton, leader della classifica, ma attendiamo il tempo di Guillaume Elias che deve ancora essere confermato. Jasmina Kastner, from Austria, into the finish, with some help of Maël Bovier also, great to see. So waiting soon for Magnus De Wett to the pre-warning. Should be there any second, I believe. Still waiting for the official uh, uh, leading time for uh, Elia Geam from France in the men's race. Now we got the punch from Teresa Janoshikova to the second split time and she is still in lead. 51-37, 51-37. That means she is 59 seconds faster than Hanna Lundberg from Sweden. And in third spot, right there, the punch from Emma Biesmo, also Sweden. 53 minutes and one second. 1.24 behind Teresa Janoshikova. And now we got the official time, and it was 1.58.11 for Ilya Guillaume from France. So the leader is right now 6.54 down to Julien Vuitton. So it's a double right now for France. And I got the punch also from Magnus Devet from Denmark. So we are waiting for a new second best time, definitely. She, he is a little bit less than five minutes behind uh, Ilya Guillaume at the pre-warning. Arriva al traguardo anche Ilian Angeli in questo momento per Ilian Angeli è la nuova seconda posizione per l'Italia 2 ore 4 minuti e 3 secondi seconda posizione per Ilian Angeli gruppo sportivo Folgore Italia al traguardo Ilian Angeli youngster in the Italian team in the two second spot right now 2 hours 4 minutes and 3 seconds 5.52 behind the current leader Ilia Guillaume from France but we are waiting now for Magnus De Wett from Denmark should be a new second best time right now in a men's race Abbiamo adesso la conferma del tempo di Guillaume Elias un'ora 58 e 11 5 minuti e 52 secondi il suo vantaggio su Ilian Angeli 6.54 su Julien Vuitton, Francia Italia e Francia al momento in classifica. Talked about uh, Janis Bonnek and his uh, great start. And now he punched the second split, Janis Bonnek. And he is in second spot, 58-57. Five seconds only behind Ilya Guillaume from France. So Janis Bonnek still running good out there. And to the third split in the women's race, Veronica Kalinina from Russia. 
73-33. 11 seconds now behind Victoria Hesta Björnstrasse over Veronica Kalinina. Is running good also in the Russian colors today. And Magnus Devet from Denmark heading into the finish. And the time is ticking. Two hours and two minutes right now for Magnus. And he's coming here. And this is a, clearly a new second best time for Magnus Devet from Denmark. Right behind Ilya Guillaume from uh, France. Magnus Devet al traguardo della Danimarca sarà la seconda posizione per lui. Ilian Angeli ha detto nessun errore ma le gambe da due mesi a questa parte vanno il meglio che possono e il meglio che ha potuto fare è stato questo tempo di due ore e quattro minuti. Ah, quite strong finish there from Magnus Devet. Two hours, two minutes and 31 seconds. He has gained some 22 seconds on Ilya Gian from the pre-warning into the finish and he looked very strong, Magnus Devet, into the finish line. So into second spot right now. Whoops. <laughs> oh, okay. And Sinever Bråten from Norway heading into a new second best time. I have to wait for the screen because it's all down right now, but very soon. But Sinever Bråten into second spot right now. I'm quite sure about it. Indeed, and the time is 1.39.05 uh, for Sinever Bråten. One minute and 55 seconds behind Victoria Hesta Björnstad. So right now we have Norway, one, two, three in the race for the women. And to the second split in the men's class, we got the new best time. And more Norway, Lukas Liland. 58 minutes and 19 seconds. And we compare with Ilya Gierm, the current leader in the finish. And Lukas Liland is 33 seconds faster than Ilya Gierm from France. Continua a parlare norvegese la gara al femminile, ma anche in campo maschile Lukas Liland. È in questo momento in prima posizione con 38 secondi di vantaggio sull'austriaco Janis Bonek dopo 58 minuti di gara. And another guy in a good form right now, winner in Switzerland last week and, and a jury meeting, Mathieu Perrin from France. He just punched the first split and he is the fastest right now. 38 minutes and 13 seconds. That means 14 seconds faster than Jens Rönnols now in second spot. And compared with Ilya Guillerm, his teammate there in the French team, he's one minute and 23 seconds faster. So Mathieu Perrin right now the fastest to the first split. Gli split si sembra di vedere un'altra vittima della Archeton area, Mario Nebi. Il suo distacco sale da 3 a 7 minuti in questo momento. And a very fast start from Sarina Kiburz from Switzerland. Clearly the fastest to the first split. 30-56, 30-56. That's exactly one minute faster than Teresa Janoshikova, Czech Republic. So Sarina Kiburz, a flying start there from Sarina. And to the first split now, Hanna Lundberg, very close to the arena, just north of the arena, before they enter the open uh, areas and the road passage. Uh, she just punched it in uh, the uh, time of 71.19, 71.19 for Hanna Lundberg. So she's now two minutes faster than Victoria Hesta Björnstad from Norway. Dopo 38 minuti di gara Mathieu Perrin in Francia ha preso la leadership della classifica così come dopo 31 minuti di gara in campo femminile Sarina Kiburz, Svizzera, Anna Lundberg dopo 71 minuti di gara il comando in zona arena di gara margine di vantaggio ampio su Victoria Estad Björnstad, Svezia su Norvegia in questo momento all'uscita dalla parte di Vallor e appena prima dell'ingresso Nell'incubo di Archeton. We're waiting for Grace Molloy uh, quite soon into the finish and probably a new fourth best time in the finish for Grace Molloy Gripmitten.
Oh, sorry, she hasn't punched the pre-warning yet. I have to wait for that one, uh, of course. But Grace Molloy is on her way to the pre-warning. But Hanna Lundberg, the fastest right now out there. But we have to wait for Teresa Janoshikova, of course. Teresa was one minute faster than Hanna Lundberg to the second split. Elena Pezzati continua ad andare bene, sesta posizione per Elena Pezzati all'uscita da Archeton. Il suo distacco da Vittoria Estad Bjornstad è salito di due minuti e mezzo circa. Elena Pezzati ha mantenuto la sesta posizione anche all'uscita da Archeton e sarà qui a breve in fondo al campo di gara. Sandra Pausaite. Is heading into the finish together with Annika Gassner from Austria. At the same time, we've got Pascal Bux from Switzerland to the first split time. And we have a new best time, 36.53. That means one minute and 20 seconds faster than Mathieu Perrin. So it's a great start there from Pascal Bux from Switzerland. La partenza feroce dello svizzero Pascal Bux che dopo 36 minuti di gara stacca di 1 minuto e 20 secondi Mathieu Perrin e la concorrenza di ancora altri minuti. Tim Robertson è staccato di 3 minuti e 10 secondi il fortissimo sprinter neozelandese al, dopo 40 minuti di gara. So waiting soon for Elena Pezzatti from Switzerland has punched the pre-warning. Uh, running time right now is one hour and 39 minutes very soon. It should be a new six best time for Elena Pezzatti. She's coming down there, I believe. Penso di sì, per. Penso che sia proprio Elena Pezzatti, l'atleta dello SCOM Mendrisio. E Asco Lugano, Mendrisio dove si sono disputati i campionati europei sprint di qualche anno fa in Canton Ticino. Elena gareggia anche per il Fonzaso, dovrebbe essere per, lui il, per lei le ultimi metri del percorso per Elena Pezzati, Svizzera. E ora abbiamo il punch da uh, Veronica Kalinina, just close to the arena, the last split time before the pre-warning and the finish. And she is second there, 54 seconds behind Vittoria Hesta Bjornstad. Sventolano le bandiere rosso crociate, ancora Elena Pezzati lontana dal traguardo in questa lunghissima corsia finale. C'è tutto lo scome Mendrisio che la sta spingendo verso il traguardo. So Elena Pezzati from Switzerland heading into your new six best time. Marion Abbey, first of all. And then we have Nicolina Friberg-Kluster, also heading into the finish. We have to wait for Elena Pesati. Down there she is, I believe. At the same time, we've got the new best time to the second split for the men. Jens Rönnholz from Sweden is still running pretty good out there. 57.49, the new best time. And compare with the leader inside in, in the finish, Ilya Guillaume from France, he is one minute and three seconds faster. So Jens Rönnholz, the new leader to the second split for the men. Now we got the punch from Grace Molloy at the pre-warning and uh, she is running towards the fourth uh, position right now, I believe. Elena Pizzati dovrebbe essere adesso sul fondo del campo gara. Anche la britannica Grace Molloy si sta avvicinando alla zona di arrivo con il quarto tempo. Mentre dopo quasi un'ora di gara guida tra gli uomini lo svedese Jens Ronalds davanti al norvegese Lucas Leland. Terzo rimane il francese Guillaume Elias davanti all'austriaco Janis Bonek. That means that uh, Jens Rönnholz is 30 seconds faster than Lucas Lilam to that second split in his uh, first World Cup race ever, actually, for Jens Rönnholz.
World Cup ever, the first one uh, for many guys uh, yeah. in men and women class uh, mm. after the Junior World Championship. Yeah, correct. Francois van der Oudre from uh, Belgium heading into the finish. And down there we have Elena Pezzatti now on her way into the finish. Just punched the last control and uh, right behind the German here, the Brit Friedrich. We have Elena Pezzatti and running towards the sixth position right now in the finish. Birgit Friedrich a traguardo per la Germania e di nuovo le bandiere svizzere per Elena Pezzati. Prima era arrivata al traguardo Mario Nebi, è una sfida tra le due atlete rosso crociate. Ecco Elena Pezzati, la sorellina di Tobia Pezzati, campione europeo da junior. Elena Pezzati vincitrice di una long distance dal suo primo world ranking event a Monte San Primo, Lombardia, Italia. Ultimi metri del percorso per Elena Pezzati, Scome Mendrisio e Fonzaso. Sesta posizione, 1 ora 43 minuti, 22 secondi per Elena Pezzati, Svizzera. At the same time, I got the punch from Hanna Lundberg at the last split time before the pre-warning and the finish. And she is in lead, and she is increasing her lead compared with Victoria Hesta Björnstad. Now the lead is 2 minutes and 28 seconds for Hanna Lundberg, the Swedish junior. And twice the junior world champion in Turkey some weeks ago, and also a silver medal for Hanna Lundberg but also the winner of the middle distance World Cup race in Idrefjell and Grenis Osvallen in August. And now she is running inside the Arkiton area for the two last controls before the finish. And one of the hopes for Italy today, Riccardo Scaleri, just punched the first split now, 38 minutes and 15 seconds. That's the third best, 1.22 behind Pascal Bux for Riccardo Scaleri. So that's a pretty good start from Riccardo. In the meantime, uh, Elena Pezzati said, uh, I'm died. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so yeah. sfinita, morta. Una gara mortale, ma comunque <laughs> sorrideva. She was smiling and... Uh, Per Forsberg ha annunciato il passaggio di Riccardo Scaletti in terza posizione dopo 38 minuti di gara, 1 minuto e 22 dallo svizzero Pascal Bux per il capitano, il quarterback della nazionale italiana Riccardo Scaletti. Now we're waiting for Grace Molloy, she's coming down here, heading into the finish Grace. And running towards the fourth position right now in the finish. Uh, right now we're on time one hour and 41 minutes for Grace Malloy, Great Britain. And here she is. Into the finish right now, Grace Malloy into fourth position right now. Right behind uh, Veronica, uh, sorry, Victoria Hesta Björnstam, Sune Vibrotten and Tone Bergerud Lye. And Grace Malloy into fourth right now. And the finish time right there for Grace Malloy is 1.41.44. 4.34 behind Victoria Hesta Bjornsta. Oltre 101 minuti di gara per Grace Malloy dalla Gran Bretagna si installa in quarta posizione. Guidano sempre le tre norvegesi. And Luis Nogueira from Spain heading into fifth position right now. Two hours, six minutes and three seconds for Luis into fifth position right now for the Spaniard. Great to see. Nelle ultime decine di minuti di gara non abbiamo più visto Archeton fare vittime. Probabilmente il livello degli atleti anche sta salendo oppure hanno cominciato a capire che qualcosa laggiù può essere molto pericoloso per il risultato finale della gara. I've been waiting for Teresa Janoshikova for a while to the third split and now she punched it, but now she is late. 
Now Hanna Lundberg is in front of Teresa Janoshikova. She is 52 seconds behind Hanna Lundberg now, Teresa Janoshikova, but she is in second spot at the third split. And we knew that Hanna Lundberg is inside the Arketon area, the two last controls, the two last tricky controls before the last control and the finish. Anna Lumberi, la vincitrice di Ridrefiel, sta gareggiando nell'area di Archeton, ha vinto a Ridrefiel, può vincere, può fare molto bene anche qui, può, lei può domare Archeton, la svedese è ancora una junior, forse chissà la Svezia ha trovato già l'erede di Tove Alexandersson. And Guillaume Abecon heading into the finish. And Guillaume Ilia in the lead right now. One hour, 58 minutes and 11 seconds. That's the time to beat. Magnus De Vett in second right now and Ilian Angeli from Italy in third. Three best right now in the finish. I'm waiting soon for the pre-warning from Hanna Lundberg, Sweden. Uh, running time right now is very soon, 85 minutes for Hanna Lundberg. At the last split before the uh, last part, the Arketon area, Line Sederberg from Denmark punched it in the time of 82.30. That's fourth best, fourth best, but 4.42 behind Hanna Lundberg from Sweden for Line Sederberg, Denmark. Uomini in questo momento, Ilian Angeli al comando. Ilian Angeli in terza posizione, chiedo scusa, e Riccardo Scaletti in terza posizione a circa due quinti di gara. Per Riccardo Scaletto un distacco di 1 minuto e 22 secondi dal leader parziale della classifica, ma a giudicare almeno dalla gara che sta facendo un altro sprinter, Tim Robertson, che sta attuando una bella rimonta. Il distacco di Tim Robertson è sceso da 3 minuti e 10 secondi a 1,45 tra il primo e il secondo punto radio e poi c'è sempre Archeton che aspetta questi atleti in grado di modificare le carte in tavola in qualunque momento and now I got the punch from Veronica Kalinina at the pre-warning and she's a little bit late compared to Victoria Hesta Bjornstra so probably a new second best time for Veronica Kalinina in a while Santam, Johanna Trummer from Austria, heading into the finish. A breve avremo Veronica Calini in al traguardo, annunciata al pre-warning, il suo distacco in Archeton. È il primo salito da 2 minuti e 14 a 3.22, poi è sceso a 44 secondi, vedremo se sarà soltanto una questione fisica o anche una questione tecnica. I can see from the times also that Victoria Hesta Bjornsta and Veronica Kalina, they are running pretty much the same speed. So it will be tough for Veronica Kalina to beat Victoria Hesta Bjornsta because she is a little bit too much behind at the pre-warning to be able to turn that around. At the last split also before the finish, Ole Hensler from Germany in third spot for the last part to go. So Ole Hensler from Germany is running pretty good and waiting for Hanna Lundberg to the pre-warning very soon. All right now, 87 minutes running for Hanna Lundberg. And you can notice that it is from the pre-warning into the finish. It's just one control, it's the last control. It's six minutes running approximately. Six minutes running. So oh, welcome to Italy. <laughs> oh, really, really tough in the end here. You need to be very, very strong physically because you can gain some seconds in the end if you want to, if you are fresh. But you, you, are, you are not that fresh, I believe. I think so, if you can push, you have to do that. Yeah. 
And a finish from Laura Rammstein from Austria. Right now the best Austrian in the finish, Karina Polzer, right now in sixth position, uh, 1.43.17, six minutes and seven seconds behind Veronica Hesta Björnstad. But now we got the punch from Hanna Lundberg, Sweden, at the pre-warning. And she is increasing her lead compared with uh, Victoria Hesta Björnstad. So it will be more than three minutes lead here for uh, Hanna Lundberg. So that means approximately 94 minutes, something like that for Hanna Lundberg in the end. Sta per arrivare il momento nel quale anche il pubblico italiano farà la sua conoscenza con il nuovo fenomeno dell'orientieri svedese e mondiale Anna Lundberg che al pre-warning guida con 3 minuti di vantaggio su Victoria Estad Bjornstad. Il suo vantaggio è continuamente cresciuto durante la gara. Attesa di un tempo di gara di circa 93-94 minuti per completare la long distance di oggi. And when you see the running times today, uh, we have an estimated winning time for the women at 80 minutes. It was the very same in Idrifjell and the long distance. And uh, they were even, even close, that 80 minutes. And I think it will be the same today. That's my feeling right now when I see the running times here for the, for the women so far. So 94 minutes approximately for Hanna Lundberg in a while here. And let's see, probably a winning time below 90, but not 80, not the chance. Definitely Let not 80. No, I don't think so. And for the men, oh, maybe they will come down to 140, 145, something like that in the end. Right now, 158.11 for um, Guillaume Ilya from France. Well, till now we have only one runner behind two hours. Sir. It's yep. uh, something unbelievable. Yep, it is. But we're waiting for Anna Lundberg very soon. The junior uh, double twice, junior world champion in Turkey some weeks ago, and also silver medal for Anna Lundberg. And she's still a junior next season, next year. She's born in 20, 2002. And she's coming really from the north in Sweden, where they have snow in the winter time. And she is also a good skier. With Anna Lundberg, we have uh, definitely the, the millennials uh, oh. ruling the field. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And Sarina Kiburt with that great start I mentioned earlier. Uh, to the first split, she's still the fastest, 30.56, two minutes and six seconds faster than Hanna Lundberg, if I, if I compare with her. And now at the second split, she's still the fastest, Sarina Kiburt, 50 minutes and 30 seconds. And the gap to Hanna Lundberg is exactly the same, two minutes and six seconds. Interesting. 19 minuti di gara e non ha guadagnato e non ha perso nulla Sarina Kiborz sempre al comando delle operazioni dopo 50 minuti 2 minuti e 6 secondi il vantaggio sulla bicampionessa mondiale Anna Lumberi So that tells me that it's been some mistakes in the beginning for Anna Lumberg definitely a couple of minutes mistakes and she's down there I can see a small small dot down there, maybe it is Hanna, I think so. Don't think, just run. That's the tactic in the end. <laughs> you have to switch off the brain. Yeah, exactly. Don't think about what's behind you, just uh, the last meters. Another Swiss who is running very good in the beginning of the race today is Pascal Bux from Switzerland in the men's race. And at the second split, he is the fastest still, 55-39, 55-39 compared with Mathieu Perrin in second spot, two minutes and two seconds faster. Sta arrivando anche Mattia De Bertoli, salta guardo. Per lui è primo, l'atleta italiano completa la sua fatica in questo momento. Il tempo di gara di Mattia De Bertolis, uh, sesta posizione, 2 ore 10 minuti, 24 secondi.
Sesta posizione per Mattia De Bertolis Italia è l'atleta posizionato subito dietro a Ilian Angeli per l'Italia in classifica generale. And wait to Pamela Lundberg, now she is very close to the last control, at the same time we got Veronica Kalinina into the position, second right now, second position right now for Veronica. 1.36.11, one minute and one second behind Veronica Hesta Bjornstad uh, from Norway. And now Hanna Lundberg has punched that last control, 93 minutes running right now for Hanna. So the finish now, the last meters, the last 200 meters from the last control into the finish line for Hanna Lundberg, Sweden, and we are waiting for a new best time. And it will be approximately 94 minutes here for Hanna Lundberg. Sono gli ultimi metri, potrebbero essere anche quelli decisivi, ma sono metri pesantissimi nelle gambe di Hanna Lundberg dopo oltre 93 minuti di gara in lotta per la prima posizione, in lotta con uh, Sarina. So here is now Hanna Lundberg, the junior from Sweden, the winner of the middle distance in Edifel, the World Cup in August, and also twice junior world champion this season in Turkey. And this is a big, big talent from Sweden heading into the finish, and this is a new best time right now for Hanna Lundberg from Sweden. And the time will be 94 minutes and some seconds for Hanna today. And the finish time, 94 minutes and the seconds right there is for 94 minutes and four seconds for Hanna Lundberg Sweden and the lead down to Victoria Hesta Bjornstad right now is three minutes and six seconds. Anna Lundberg al traguardo prima posizione 94 minuti e 4 secondi ha proprio cercato il terreno pochi centimetri dopo aver tagliato il traguardo per poter riposare le stanche membra per qualche secondo Anna Lundberg ancora a terra Ah, uh, let's see how long it will last for Hanna Lundberg. We knew that Teresa Janoshikova just punched the last split time, but she is losing time to Hanna Lundberg. Now she is one minute and ten seconds behind Teresa Janoshikova. So Hanna Lundberg, I think she will not uh, be uh, beaten by Teresa Janoshikova. Sarina Kiburts is much more interesting. Sarina was two minutes and six seconds ahead of Hanna Lundberg at the second split. So let's see. La minaccia per Anna Lundberg arriva immediatamente dalla Repubblica Ceca con Teresa Janosikova che è staccata di 1 minuto e 10 secondi. Non eh, credo che possa essere in grado di recuperare mentre Per Forsberg è andato a sentire immediatamente la sua nuova pupilla. Anna Lundberg in gara c'è anche la svizzera Sarina Kiburz che ha un vantaggio di 2 minuti. 6 secondi su Anna Lundberg dopo circa 50 minuti di gara probabilmente un errore ad inizio gara sì, Anna Lundberg sta proprio mostrando a Per Forsberg quella parte di gara per Teresa Janosikova sarà un arrivo allo sprint ma un'ora e 25 minuti di gara per lei in questo momento è arrivata a traguardo anche Deborah Stadler per la Svizzera Un'ora, 43 minuti, 54, 1 hour, 43, 54, 11th place for Deborah Stadler, Switzerland. Abbiamo qui anche il presidente della Federazione Italiana Sport Orienteering, abbiamo il generale Baratta, il comandante dei carabinieri della forestale della, della regione Veneto, dell'intera regione Veneto. Siamo quindi anche i vostri ospiti, grazie mille per averci concesso questa opportunità di gareggiare ancora una volta nel consiglio che non ho esitato a definire il Maracanà dell'Orienteering internazionale e credo che oggi... Archeton e Vallor che saranno nomi che entreranno sempre più spesso nella gestione della, nei racconti degli orientisti.
Nazionale se vuole dire due parole ai presenti, siamo in diretta internazionale. Ah bene, no niente, complimenti, volevo solo fare i complimenti a voi perché è uno sport questo che avrà necessità di tanti luoghi belli come questo per diventare uno sport anche di grande importanza come so che in altri paesi dell'Europa e quindi siete i benvenuti e qui nel consiglio troverete d'ora in avanti una patria, ecco, come hai detto tu prima, il Maracanà dell'Orienteering, sarebbe veramente bello e noi siamo così qui lieti di ospitarvi e di potervi ospitare ancora altre volte. Grazie mille generale, so a warm welcome from the generale Baratta, the commander in chief of the Carabinieri of the Veneto region. And I uh, had a small chat with uh, Hanna Lundberg, the new current leader in the, the women's class at the time of 94 minutes and 4 seconds. Um, a little bit of hesitation in the beginning, small mistakes also, a couple of minutes, she believed, but um, not more than that. But it is a tough course, really tough course, she told me. So uh, 80 minutes, no, it's impossible. It's impossible 80 minutes today. So maybe we'll see some runners uh, sub 90 today. That's my feeling. But we have to wait and see. Uh, Vincent Coupa from uh, France is running pretty good out there at the third split. He's in second spot, but he is four minutes behind uh, Guillaume Ilia from uh, France, the current leader in the finish also, with a time of 1.58.11. And now we got the punch from uh, Teresa Janoshikova at the pre-warning, and she is still uh, behind Hanna Lundberg, uh, a little bit more than one minute. So uh, she is running towards a new second best time for Teresa Janoshikova, the double winner in Switzerland the last weekend and the jury meeting. And good to see also that Ricardo Scaletti from, uh, uh, from Italy, sorry, is running pretty good. At the second split, he is in second position. 135 behind Pascal Bux from Switzerland, who is the fastest in the beginning. But that means he is one and a half minute uh, faster than uh, uh, Guillaume Ilia from uh, France, the current leader in the finish. So it's a great start there from Riccardo Scaleri from Italy. And in approximately 10 minutes, we will have the next split time from Sarina Kiburz from Switzerland, the current leader in the beginning of uh, today's race. I'm waiting soon for Emma Biesmo, Sweden, also to the pre-warning. Emma is in fourth place with the last controls to go. Uh, a little bit more than three minutes behind Hanna Lundberg from uh, Sweden. So Hanna, oh, sorry. No, no, sorry, sorry. So Hanna Lundberg uh, is the current leader in second spot. Victoria Hesta, Bjornsha, Norway. Uh, three minutes and six seconds behind. And Veronica Kalinina, Russia, right now in third, four minutes and seven seconds behind. Riccardo Scalet recupera una posizione dopo 57 minuti di gara. Il suo distacco da Pascal Bux sale a 1 minuto e 35, ma è in questo momento secondo Riccardo Scalet. And Lina Sederberg from Denmark, heading into the fifth position right now for Lina. Uh, 1.39.30, 1.39.30 for um, Lina Sederberg from Denmark. 5.26 behind Hanna Lundberg from Sweden. Uh, also interesting with Alexandra Ornik from uh, Poland to the second split in third position there. So that means she's 20 seconds faster than Hanna Lundberg. Very interesting with Alexandra Ornik from Poland. So that's a great start from her. And Susan Lösch from Germany in third position at the third split. Two minutes behind Hanna Lundberg. The uscita in questo momento fuori dalla top 10. Elena Pezzati, undicesima. Il prossimo arrivo sarà quello di Teresa Janosikova. 
che non sarà in grado di impensierire Anna Lundberg anche se sta cercando di rientrare ma il suo distacco è sempre superiore al minuto fino a questo momento in campo maschile il tedesco Ole Hensler si è inserito in terza posizione Distacco di 5 minuti e 18 secondi, Ilian Angeli scivola in quarta posizione a 5.52 dal leader Guillem Elias. At the third split time for the men, it's just uh, north of the arena here before there are a lot of uh, open area running and the last part of course, uh, with the two last controls before the last control, uh, but pretty easy orienteering. Lucas Liland is the new leader uh, with a time of 93.13, that's 2.46 faster than Guillaume Ilia. And he's together with Janis Bonnik from Austria, who started two minutes ahead. So they are running together right now, Lucas Liland and Janis Bonnik, and they are running pretty fast. È il norvegese Lucas Liland che si è inserito al comando delle operazioni dopo 93 minuti di gara. Un vantaggio di circa un minuto e mezzo su Pascal Bux. Viaggia con Janis Bonnik e anche con Riccardo Rancan, lo svizzero staccato però di sei minuti. We are approaching the last part of the, um, uh, of the women and it will be very interesting. The three last starters today, Simona Ebersold, Natalia Gempele, Tove Alexandersson. Three very strong names there in the end of the start list today for the women. And Teresa Janoshikova heading into the finish. And Teresa heading into a new second best time. Right there for Teresa Janoshikova and the time is 94 minutes and 44 seconds. She is 40 seconds behind Hanna Lundberg from Sweden. So it's a pretty quick uh, finish from uh, Teresa Janoshikova. But she is still, she is 40 seconds behind Hanna Lundberg, the current leader. Seconda posizione a traguardo per la cieca Teresa Janoshikova che scende a soli 40 secondi di distacco il minimo in, durante questa gara rispetto ad Anna Lundberg che però mantiene la testa della classifica sicuramente più veloce al traguardo la tenta della Repubblica Ceca ma il verdetto al momento parla svedese So in 5 minutes time we're approximately waiting for Sarina Kiborz to the third split The current leader both at the first and second split right now Sarina Kiborz from Switzerland Sono 63 minuti di gara fino a questo momento per Riccardo Scalet, lo ritroveremo con i tempi di gara tra circa 30 minuti, siamo nel buco di tempi intermedi tra l'ora di gara e l'ora e mezza di gara per il percorso maschile. Megan Carter Davis. Uh... Very glad, sixth in the long distance in uh, the World Champs in Czech Republic earlier this summer. Uh, just punched the last split time before the pre-warning and the finish. In fourth place, three minutes and ten seconds behind Hanna Lundberg for Megan Carter Davis from Great Britain. So it's a pretty good run in there from Megan Carter Davis. And Emma Biesmo just punched the pre-warning and they're probably running towards the sixth position in the end for Emma Biesmo. And at the same time, we got the new best time to the first split time for the women. Lisa Riesby from Sweden, 30.49. That means seven seconds faster than Sarina Kiborz. And compared with Hanna Lundberg, the current leader in the finish, two minutes and 13 seconds faster is Lisa Riesby to rest the first split time. È arrivato al traguardo anche il britannico Ben Mitchell, intanto dall'altra parte della piana del Cansiglio, 30 minuti e 49 secondi, nuovo, best, nuovo miglior tempo per Lisa Riesby. 7 secondi di vantaggio su Sarina Kiburz. 
la gara è quasi appena cominciata per Lisa Risby che stacca di 1 minuto e 7 secondi anche Teresa Janosikova in quel momento era 1 minuto e 12 secondi Marion Aebi che poi ha avuto drammi nella parte di gara di Archeton The current standings in the men's class right now, Guillaume Ilia from France in lead, 1.58.11, the only sub two hours right now. In second, Magnus Devet from Denmark, four minutes and 20 seconds behind. And in third, Ole Hensler from Germany, five minutes and 18 seconds behind Guillaume Ilia from France. And in fourth place still uh, an Italian runner, Ilia yeah. Angeli. 5 minutes 52 seconds behind the leader. I'm talking about Germany, Susan Lush just punched the last split before the pre warning and finish. In fourth, play, fourth position, two and a half minutes behind Hanna Lundberg is Susan Lush with the Arcaton area to, uh, to finish the race in. Arcaton area where si passa da velocità warp. Uh, a tutta l'attenzione del mondo riposizionarsi all'interno di Archeton è difficilissimo sono tutte rocce, tutte buche uguali bisogna mantenere veramente la concentrazione dopo 90 minuti di gara o dopo 110 minuti di gara sarà veramente bellissimo vedere come andrà a finire questa gara ma anche come verrà affrontata la middle distance di sabato che si svolgerà tutta praticamente in quella zona ne vedremo veramente delle belle prima ho accennato ai fuochi artificiali e Stefano Zonato dall'altra parte delle transenne mi dice è d'accordo con le mie parole Hey Nolan from Estonia heading into 6 position right now 2 hours 5 minutes and 24 seconds 7.13 7.13 behind the current leader Guillaume Ilia from France The last winner in the Arcaton area, many years ago, seven years ago, only Markus Taivainen. Ah. In 35 minutes, an unbelievable time, and he is now the coach of the Estonian uh, yeah, correct. team. So correct. I'm curious to see the Estonians yep. on Saturday. And this is very interesting also. One of the oldest in the field among the women, Marianne Andersen from Norway. And she is the fastest to the first split time. 30, 40, 16 seconds faster than, uh, 9 seconds faster than Lisa Rispe and 16 seconds down to Sarina Kibur. So Marianne Andersen, a great start there from Marianne. And at the same time, we got the punch from Sarina Kibur at the third split. And she's still in lead. But now it is 1.34 down to Hanna Lundberg. It was 2.06. And uh, this will be very interesting to see in the end. But Sarina Kibur, Switzerland, is running pretty good out there. E ogni tanto parliamo dei millennials, ma non dobbiamo dimenticarci degli atleti più esperti. Marianne Andersen, dalla Norvegia, ha preso la testa dopo 30 minuti e 40 secondi di vantaggio, 9 secondi su Lisa Risby, che le rende almeno 15 anni di differenza anagrafica. Marianne Andersen se ne frega di quanto è giovane e forte Lisa Risby, vuole ancora dire la sua. And at the last split for the men, Lucas Leland and Janis Bonnik still together. And Lucas Leland in lead. So now into the Arcaton area and the pre-warning pretty soon. And the probably a new best time in uh, some minutes. Because he is more than three minutes faster than Guillaume Ilia from France. At that uh, last split before the Arcaton area. E questi dovrebbero essere riconoscibili perché Lucas Leland, Janis Bonek e Riccardo Rancana arriveranno insieme, saranno tre puntini che sbucheranno. And Emma Biasmo heading into eighth position right now, 139.47 for Emma, 5.43 behind the current leader Hanna Lundberg from Sweden. And Jens Rönnholz just punched the third split now and still running good and fast out there. He is in second spot, 1.33.51, 38 seconds behind Lucas Leland. Tanto abbiamo anche degli altri ospiti che corrono velocemente attraverso il campo di gara di Cansiglio. This morning there were bucks. 
in the area, in this finisher area. Potrebbero sbucare a breve i tre atleti, Lucas Liland, Janis Bonek e Riccardo Rankan, Norvegia, Austria e Svizzera. Ja, Marianne Andersen is the oldest in the field today, 41 years young. 41 years young, yep. and what about uh, the men's? What about the man class? Uh, Valentin Novikov, of course. He will turn 47 tomorrow. 47 years tomorrow, and he's running today. <laughs> he's running, he's a legend. Yeah, he's a legend, a living legend, really. Sara Hockström just punched the first split in second spot. 30, 47, only seven seconds behind Marianne Andersen from Norway. So it's a great start there from Sara Hockström, the Swedish champion in long distance this season. Just uh, some weeks ago. Sarah Hagstrom, se possibile, si inserisce in classifica tra Marianne Andersen e Lisa Rigby a 7 secondi alla teta norvegese. È una long distance, chissà se vedremo un arrivo al photo finish. Tutto è possibile qui alla piana del Cansiglio. Aron Bako from Hungary heading into the finish. And now I got the punch from Vincent Kupa at the pre-warning. And we are waiting for a new second best time, clearly, for Vincent Kupa. On his way from the pre-warning, out here to the last control and the finish. And also Asmus Mölleyes from Denmark is coming very soon to the last control and the finish. Vincent Coupa, Francia ha annunciato in seconda posizione al traguardo dietro al compagno di squadra Guillaume Elias. Francia e Francia tra qualche minuto in prime due posizioni al traguardo. So waiting in some minutes now for Lucas Liland and Janis Bonnik to that pre-warning, the second last control. And it's the first really big threat for uh, Guillaume Ilia from France, the current leader, 158-11. Arrivederci. Good luck. Thank you. Grazie. And now we got the punch from Megan Carter Davis at the pre-warning. And we are waiting for a new third best time, I believe, from Megan Carter Davis. Probably. But first of all, waiting for Vincent Coupa from France. Ah, he's coming down there, I believe, in the white shirt. We can say Vincent. And waiting very soon now for the, uh, for the punch from Sarina Kiburts at the last split. Before the... Uh, now I got the punch. Now I got the punch right there for Sarina Kaburs, and she's still in lead. Now the gap down to Hanna Lundberg is 125. It was 134. So she just lost some 10 seconds to Hanna Lundberg <coughs> with the last part to go now for um, Sarina Kiburs from Switzerland. And Vincent Coupa from France, 1.58. The time is running out right there for, uh, against Guillaume Ilia, but we are waiting for a new second best time for Vincent. Scende il vantaggio di Sarina Kiburz nei confronti di Anna Leonberry, scende a un minuto e 20 secondi circa, ha guadagnato altri 20 secondi l'atleta svedese. Attendiamo Vincent Coupa per la seconda posizione in classifica. And waiting so now also for Lucas Lilan to the pre-warning. Probably the new leader in a couple of minutes. 
But I'm still waiting for that punch at the pre-warning from Lucas. And now I got the punch from Valentin Novikov at the pre-warning, but nothing else. So I don't think he's running the whole course today. But now I got the punch from Lucas Liland. And we are waiting definitely for a new leader. At the same time also Jens Rönnholz at the last split. And he is only 35 seconds behind Lucas Liland with three controls to go. Artyom Popov and waiting for Vincent Copana from France. He's coming down here. Vincent on his way into the finish. And two hours running right now, so this is definitely a new second best time for Vincent Coupa from France. Coming here, two hours and 40 seconds right now for Vincent, so right under two hours and one minute. For Vincent Coupa from France, into second spot right now. So right now it's a double for France. Guillaume Ilia and Vincent Coupa. Two hours and 49 seconds, 2.38 behind uh, Guillaume Ilia from France. Still the current leader. But we knew that we are waiting for Lucas Liland and also Yanis Bonek. Doppietta francese in questo momento con Guillaume Elias davanti a Vincent Coupa. Potrebbero essere però Liland e Bonek gli atleti che si stanno avvicinando. Liland sta cercando di liberarsi dalla marcatura di Bonek. Sarà lui il nuovo leader. Vedremo dove si inserirà l'atleta austriaco. Anche Yanis Bonek, giovanissimo. At the third split, also mentioned, Thomas Grivda, Czech Republic. He is second there, all, uh, only 10 seconds behind Lucas Liland. So Thomas Grivda, Czech Republic, is running pretty good out there. And now I got the punch from Thomas Kribda also at the last split before the last part of the course. And he is still in second spot. But now he's 35 seconds behind Lucas Liland. So he has lost some seconds. But Lucas Liland is running towards the new best time in the finish, definitely. Right now, one hour and 50 minutes running for Lucas. And Sarina Kiburt, right now, 80 minutes running. 80 minutes running right now. So some more minutes before we, she will punch that pre-warning. And she's still in lead. 1.25 ahead of Hanna Lundberg from Sweden at the last split time. And down there I can see now Lucas Liland is pushing hard to the last control. Intanto mentre noi parliamo di Lucas Liland, di Yanis Bonek, di Riccardo Rancan, Riccardo Scaletta al momento è sempre accreditato della seconda posizione. And Megan Carter Davis heading into the finish right there and into position 3 right now. 1.36.13 for Megan. 2 minutes and 9 seconds behind Hanna Lundberg from Sweden. And Lucas Liland very soon into the last control and the punch. Nuova terza posizione tra le donne per Megan Carter Davis, Gran Bretagna. And there we got the punch from Lucas Lilan at the last control. And talking about Norway, Andrine Binemesem, the fastest to the first split now, 29.46. Compared with Hanna Lundberg, 3 minutes and 16 seconds faster. So it's a great start there for Andrine Binemesem. And Lucas Lilan, the time is ticking, 1.52 very soon. This is a great race from Lucas Lilan, Norway. Another great performance from Lucas. Sta arrivando a traguardo un altro nome che dobbiamo imparare a seguire è Lucas Leland. Nettamente il primo sotto le due ore, un'ora e 53 minuti circa in questo momento per lui. And clearly a new best time here for Lucas Leland from Norway. Another great performance by Lucas. 1.52 and the seconds for Lucas Leland. Great to see Lucas. And the finish time right there for Lucas Leland is 1.52. And the seconds, 25, 
52-25 and the lead is nearly six minutes down to again Ilya. Waiting now for Yanis Bonnik and here is Yanis also heading into the finish. And Yanis 154 right now. So this will be a new second best time for Yanis Bonnik from Austria. Great to see Yanis. Is fighting all the way into the finish line. Janis Bonnik from Austria into second spot right now. 154-58. 2.33 behind Lucas Leland, the new current leader. È un nuovo 1-2 in classifica. Lucas Leland ha preso il comando dell'operazione in ora 52-25. Seconda posizione per Janis Bonnik. 1 ora 54 e 58 staccato di 2 minuti e 33. Il leader precedente Guillermo Elias è staccato ora di 5 minuti e 46 secondi. Ricomincia il dominio norvegese al primo punto di controllo tra le donne Andrine Benjaminsen prima a scendere sotto i 30 minuti di gara il suo vantaggio su Marianne Andersen è di 54 secondi I'm still waiting for Sarina Kibors to reprie warning She should be there in approximately three minutes. In three minutes' time, approximately. And Valentin Ovikov, he has not run the whole course today, Valentin. But on Saturday, you will see, in the middle distance. Sicuramente vedremo Valentin Novikov al suo meglio nella media distanza. Domani, Valentin Novikov, 47 anni. E non è qui per caso, se è qui vuol dire che è ancora il, tra il meglio del meglio dell'orientiering internazionale. The most interesting right now is waiting for Sarina Kiburis to the pre-warning and the finish later on, of course. Maybe a new best time for Sarina in a short while. Riccardo Scaletti in gara da 83 minuti in questo momento, il tempo di riferimento è quello di Lucas Leland al terzo punto radio, 93 minuti, Riccardo Scaletta era staccato di 1 minuto e 35 secondi da Pascal Bux dopo un'ora di gara circa Svizzera su Italia, questa al momento la situazione in campo gara il, lo svedese Jens Ronnels è staccato di soli 35 secondi da Lucas Leland e ha lo stesso tempo del cieco Thomas Krivda dopo 100 minuti di gara. Andrina e Benjaminsen un vantaggio di 54 secondi, Sara Hagstrom un distacco di 1 minuto e 1 secondo dopo 30 minuti, 1 minuto e 3 secondi il distacco di Lisa Risby, poi Sarina Kiburz e poi Teresa Janosikova, Lisa Risby, nuovo miglior tempo al secondo punto radio dopo 50 minuti di gara. And now we got the punch from Sarina Kiburts from Switzerland. I can tell you, we are waiting for a new best time, definitely. Sarina Kiburts is running pretty good today, I must say. And at the same time, Lisa Risby from the strong Swedish team is the, is the new leader at the second split. 50 minutes and 10 seconds. Compared with Sarina Kiburts, 20 seconds faster. 20 seconds faster. Is she? And I spoke with uh, Lucas Leland, and he was very satisfied with the race. And the leading time is 1.52, and uh, we, we, were, we agreed on that 1.40 is impossible. I agree with you. <laughs> I agree with you, 1.40 is impossible. Maybe something less than uh, 1 hour and 50 minutes, but 1 hour and 40 is uh, definitely impossible. 
and probably are waiting for a new second best time in the men's race because Jens Rönnholz just punched a pre-warning and he is a little more than one minute behind Lucas Lidlands. Another great performance here from uh, Jens Rönnholz from Sweden on his way to the last control. But first of all, Sarina Kiborz from Switzerland. It's a long, long way to run from uh, that pre-warning to the last control. Sarina Kiborz metterà probabilmente a segno il miglior tempo. Al momento il suo vantaggio è di circa 100 secondi su Anna Lumberi. Più staccata Teresa Iano Sikova. Il tempo che si avvicinerà comunque attorno ai 93 minuti di gara per Sarina Kiborz. And at the same time, the third last start of the day, Simona Ebersol just punched the first split time and she is the fastest, 29.22. Compared with Andrine Benemisem, she is 24 seconds faster. So it's a great start there from Simona Ebersol from Switzerland. Right now in the lead of the overall World Cup. Simona Ebersold a caccia della sua prima vittoria nella classifica generale di Coppa del Mondo è la leader con 15 punti di vantaggio su dove Alexanderson il distacco tra la prima e la seconda sono 20 punti quindi non basta arrivare secondi per mantenere la leadership ma 29-22 miglior tempo al primo punto radio nella foresta mm, Great start there we knew that uh, Natalia Gempel started 3 minutes behind Simone Ebersold and Tove Alexanderson the last starter started 6 minutes behind Simone Ebersold Intanto ci ha raggiunto sulla linea del traguardo anche Stefano Maddalena con Tiziano Boiani qui a vedere i risultati della Nazionale Svizzera che al momento è al comando delle operazioni al primo tempo intermedio con Simone Ebersold e al comando delle operazioni anche al secondo tempo intermedio con Pascal Bux in una storia ancora tutta da raccontare sia in campo maschile che in campo femminile. So waiting to the finish for Sarina Kibur, Switzerland, probably a new best time. Yeah, down there I can see Sarina. Now pushing hard to the last control, waiting also for Jens Rönnholz from Sweden. Probably a new second best time in a men's race very soon. Maybe we can see Sarina in red yep, uh, and the Jens in blue. Yep, exactly. And you can see the speed. You can see the speed also. Yes. <laughs> we can decide who is who yeah. by the speed. Yeah, yeah definitely. At the last split time before the last spot, the three last controls, Alexandra Ornik in fourth position, 3.48 behind Sarina Kiburz. So Alexandra Ornik is running pretty good today. And Sarina Kiburz, formerly Sarina Jensa, on her way into the last control and the finish and the new best time. Because we are waiting for a new best time. 90 minutes running right there for Sarina Kiburz. This must be one of the best performances ever individually. Could be. Yeah, could, could be. be. Yeah, definitely. So very nice to see Sarina in such a shape. And the 90 minutes running for Sarina Kiburz. Now on her way into the finish and a new best time. This is the time to beat. And very soon also Jens Rönnholz which punched that last control. And he's running towards the second position right now. Also great performance by Jens Rönnholz in his first ever World Cup race. Sarina Kiburz, much more experienced, but this is one of the best races ever for Sarina Kiburz, I must say. Nice to see. And here is now Sarina on her way into a new best time. In this long distance here in Casilio, in Italy, for Sarina Kiburz. Great to see Sarina. And the time is ticking. 91 minutes running right now for Sarina. And she will take the lead away from Hanna Lundberg from Sweden. And the finish time right now for Sarina Kiburz is 91 minutes and 32 seconds. The lead is 2.32 down to Hanna Lundberg from Sweden. And Jens Rönnholz heading into a new second best time. Right behind Lukas Liland from Norway. But this is a really good race from Jens Rönnholz today. From Sweden, heading in, and one hour, 53 minutes and 54 seconds, 1.29 behind the current leader, Lukas Liland from Norway. So Jens Rönnholz in two second. Nuova seconda posizione in campo maschile per il giovane svedese Jens Rönnholz, un'ora 53.54.
1,29 di distacco da Lucas Leland, ma fantastico vedere la determinazione, la grande carica, la grinta fino all'ultimo metro di Sarina Kiburz, nuova leader un'ora 31 e 32, un vantaggio di un minuto e mezzo circa su Anna Lundberg. And Vendola Hortiskova from the Czech Republic heading into eighth position right now, 138.19, 6.47 behind the new current leader, Sarina Kibur. So nice to see Sarina. And now we got the punch from Sara Hawkstrom at the second split also. 50-20, 50-20. That means she's 10 seconds faster than Sarina Kibur, but 10 seconds behind Lisa Riesby. Very tight there. Abbiamo tre atlete in 20 secondi dopo 50 minuti di gara. Il grande spettacolo dell'Orienteering in foresta del Consiglio. Lisa Risby guida con 10 secondi su Sara Hagstrom e 20 secondi su Sarina Kiburz. Si sta avvicinando anche il momento della verità per Riccardo Scalet. Dopo la tratta lunghissima siamo a 1.31 di gara per lui. Lucas Liland era passato in 1.33. Ancora due minuti o poco più per vedere se Riccardo Scalet sarà riuscito a scalare la montagna del distacco da Lucas Leland and Thomas Kribda from the Czech Republic also fighting very very hard didn't, got, uh, didn't get any pre-warning from Thomas Kribda very strange but the finish time for Thomas is 1.53.29 into second spot right now preliminary 1 minute and 4 seconds behind Lucas Leland Nuova seconda posizione per Thomas Krivda, Repubblica Ceca, ancora ufficiosa da confermare, un minuto e quattro secondi di stacco da Lucas Leland. Waiting for the third split from Pascal Bux, the leader both at the first and second split. But now he is late because 1.38 already running time for Pascal Bux. And the best time, Lucas Leland, 1.33. So he's very late right now, Pascal Bux, to that third split time. Waiting also for Ricardo Scalere very soon to that third split. Waiting for Ricardo Scalere for all Italian supporters. Aspettando Riccardo Scaletta, ma nel frattempo anche Pascal Bux deve aver commesso qualche grave errore anche senza arrivare in Archeton perché il suo distacco adesso ormai di più di 5 minuti da Lucas Leland che era 2 minuti e 40 secondi dietro allo Svizzero dopo circa un'ora di gara. E continua a correre purtroppo il tempo di Riccardo Scaletti che in questo momento sarebbe 5-10 secondi superiore a quello di Lucas Leland. Ma... But now we got Pascal Bux, not to the third, but to the fourth split time. No uh, time at the th third, but doesn't matter. 1.39.19, exactly the same time as Lucas Leland with the last part to go. Very, very exciting. Dopo quasi 100 minuti di gara, due atleti spalla a spalla sono Lucas Leland e Pascal Bux. And per, let me say something I always repeat in my competitions in Italy, there's no countdown. No. There's no countdown at all. No, 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 no. Not at all. But Pascal Bux is running pretty good today. Uh, really good. So now he's entered the last part. And waiting for the pre-warning later on and the finish from Pascal Bux. But definitely a threat for Lucas Leland, the current leader. Riccardo Scalet viaggiava 1 minuto e 35 secondi di ritardo da Pascal Bux. Non abbiamo il suo terzo passaggio al punto radio, ma Pascal Bux è saltato direttamente al quarto punto radio. A questo punto non posso che sperare che sia così anche per Riccardo Scalet.
And now we got the punch from Ricardo Scaleri at the third uh, split time. 1.35.45 for Ricardo. That means 2.32, two and a half minutes behind Lucas Liland from Norway for Ricardo. Sesta posizione al momento per Riccardo Scaletta, un minuto ha perso nella, nei 35-40 minuti dall'ora di gara all'ora 35, rimane in sesta posizione l'atleta italiano. Also had to mention Isa from Kruzenkana from Sweden just punched the second split time uh, with a time of 58.20, eighth best and 2.41 behind uh, Pascal Bux. So Isak from Kruzenkana, Sweden, a pretty good start, some mistakes uh, obviously, but uh, pretty good from Isak from Kruzenkana from Sweden. So the current standings right now in the men's class, Lucas Lilan Norway in lead with a time of 1.52.25. In second, Thomas Krivda, Czech Republic, 1.53.29, 1.04 behind. And Jens Rennold, Sweden in third, 1.29 behind. And Miri Trane Ödum from Denmark heading into the finish. At the same time, we got the new best time to the second split. Uh, among the women. Andrine Benemisen from Norway, 48-24. We compare with Sarina Kiborts. She is two minutes and six seconds faster than Sarina. So Andrine Benemisen is running really good out there. Sarina Kiborts in lead. Uh, in second, Hanna Lundberg from Sweden, 2.31 behind. And in third, Teresa Janosikova, Czech Republic, 3.11 behind Sarina Kiborts. And we are still waiting for both Natalia Gempele and Tove Alexandersson to the first split time. And we have checked it, it's working, so they are late. Very, very late right now, both of them. Eh sì, per chi sta seguendo la gara sui live risultati, si sarà accolto che rispetto a un tempo di Andrea Beniami in senso di 30 minuti, Tove Alexandersson è in gara già da 38 minuti e ne hanno ancora annunciata al primo punto radio. Edoardo Tona ha controllato, funziona. Funziona anche per Natalia Gemperle che è in gara in questo momento da 41 minuti. I was waiting for Mathieu Perrin to the pre-warning and he punched it right there. So Mathieu Perrin on his way, maybe top three right now. He will not beat uh, Lucas Liland. I think it will be very tough, or maybe Thomas Krivda and Jens Reynolds is reachable for um, Mathieu Perrin. Let's see his finish. If he has some fresh legs here in the end. But Lucas Leland and his leading time, 1.52.25. It's enough. Also when we are waiting for Mathieu Perrin from France.
stiamo vedendo l'analisi della traccia GPS sul track track e apparentemente sembra che non sia successo veramente nulla al percorso di Tove Alexanderson almeno fino a un paio di centinaia di metri dal punto radio che ancora non ha dato alcun segnale nessun errore anzi sembrava che Ebersold, Gemperle e Alexanderson fossero veramente sulla stessa linea ogni tanto dico che ci deve essere qualcosa dipinto sul terreno per far andare così veloci questi atleti elite forse loro l'hanno trovato Waiting so now for Pascal Bux to the pre-warning. And now I got the punch. At the same time, we got the new second best time to the first uh, split time for the men. Gernot Imsen from Austria. 37-10, 17 seconds behind Pascal Bux for Gernot. So it's a great start there from Gernot Imsen from Austria. And Tim Robinson heading into the finish from New Zealand. And Simona Aberstall at the same time punched that the second split in lead, 47-49, 35 seconds faster than Andrine Benemisen for Simona Aberstall. Continua il duello tra Andrine Benemisen e Simona Aberstall, mentre ancora non abbiamo news da Gamperle e Alexanderson, mentre Pasqual Bux e Gernot Imsen Cashbaumer continuano a viaggiare forti. Pascal Bux con il secondo tempo dietro al solo Lucas Leland, Gerdot Kerschbaumer dietro al solo Pascal Bux al primo punto radio. E Mathieu Perrin from France heading into the finish. 1.53 right now for Mathieu. 1.53, it will be a new third best time right now for Mathieu. Mathieu Perrin heading into the finish into third position right now. Right behind Lucas Leland and Thomas Krivda, but just ahead of Jens Rönnos from Sweden. 1.53.46. Third spot right now, 1.21 behind the current leader, Lucas Liland from Norway for Mathieu Perrin. Rimette fuori la freccia anche la Francia con Mathieu Perrin che si inserisce in terza posizione dietro a Liland e Krivda. 1 ora 53.46 il suo tempo. And uh, Dag Blanchen from Norway heading into eighth position right now with a time of 1.59.42, 7.17 behind his teammate and the current leader, Lucas Liland. And to the third split, we have a new best time, and it is Elisa Riesby from Sweden. 69 minutes and 3 seconds, 42 seconds faster than Lisa Riesby, uh, than uh, uh, Sarina Kiburts. Lisa Risby riprende la testa della classifica, sempre il duello tra lei e Sarina Kiburz, mentre tra 3-4 minuti potremmo vedere il tempo di Tove Alexanderson se il primo punto radio non avesse funzionato. Il miglior tempo è quello di Simone Ebersold, attorno ai 47 minuti, siamo a 44 minuti di tempo di gara di Tove Alexanderson. And now we got the new best time to the first split for the men. Martin Riegborn from Sweden. With a lot of injuries this season, but now he looks fine. 36.40, 36.40, new best time there. Compared with Lucas Leland, he is 1.57, 1.57 faster. Nuovo miglior tempo dopo 36 minuti per lo svedese Martin Regborn. La gara non è finita finché l'ultimo svedese non ha parlato. E ancora attendiamo un suono, una voce, un cenno di vita da Tove Alexanderson. Mm. 
So regarding Natalia Gempel and Tove Alexandersson, we have no ID because uh, the punch is working, but it seems that they have been there, so it's something strange. So we have to wait for the next split time, I believe. And now waiting for Pascal Bux from uh, Switzerland, 1.52. The time is running out against Lucas Liland right there for Pascal, but he is on his way into the finish. And now we got the punch from Natalia Gempel at the second split time, 48-17. She is in second there. And also Tove Alexandersson from Sweden, 45-33. So that means she is more than two minutes faster than Simona Ebersol from Switzerland. And almost five minutes faster than Sarina Kiburs, the current leader in the finish. And Pascal Bux heading into the finish. We had a great race today from Pascal into second place right now. Great to see Pascal and the finish time. Right there is 1.52.57, 32 seconds behind Lucas Liland, but into second right now for Pascal Bux from Switzerland. Succede tutto insieme al traguardo Pascal Bux per la Svizzera con il nuovo secondo tempo dietro a Lucas Liland, staccato di 32 secondi. Ma ricompaiono al mondo Tove Alexanderson e Natalia Gemperle, sono la prima e la terza. Mentre Natalia Gemperle ha un distacco di 26 secondi da Simone Ebersold, Tove Alexanderson. Dopo 45 minuti di gara un vantaggio di 2 minuti e 16 secondi su Simona Eberson, sembra un'altra gara. So that means that that uh, second split, uh, Tove Alexandersson is only 16 seconds behind Natalia Gempele in the terrain. So they are almost together, Tove and Natalia. But she's running very fast right now, Tove Alexandersson, clearly the fastest. I mean, two minutes and 16 seconds faster than Simona Ebersol. At the same time, Sora Hawkström just punched the third split time. And she is the fastest. She is the fastest. Almost two minutes faster than Sarina Kibor. So Sara Hawkström is also running out and showing some great form also today. Nuovo miglior tempo dopo aver scavallato i 67 minuti di gara per Sara Hagstrom. Il suo vantaggio è di quasi due minuti su Sarina Kibos che guida la classifica in questo momento con 91 minuti di gara circa. And another guy who uh, has shown some great form this autumn is Alden Heimdahl from Norway. And now he punched the second split time in a clear lead really, 55 minutes and 4 seconds. And compared with Lucas Liland, the current leader in the finish, he is 3 minutes and 15 seconds faster. Very impressive there from Alden Heimdahl from Norway. Anche Riccardo Scaletta continua a tenere la posizione, settimo in classifica ed è l'unico che ha guadagnato terreno sul leader. Lucas Leland ha guadagnato 25 secondi nella prima metà di gara in Archeton, ma forse non c'è abbastanza Archeton davanti a Riccardo Scaletta per recuperare altre posizioni. I don't have the first play time from Auden Heimdahl. It will be very interesting to compare with Martin Riebon later on because Martin has been out for 41 minutes right now. And the time to beat to the second split is 55.04 for Auden Heimdahl from Norway. Intanto siamo a quasi 15 minuti di gara per Kasper Arlen Fosser, quasi 12 per Mattias Kiburz, Eskiel Schenebery, 20 minuti di gara, Joy Adorn 24. Waiting for Ricardo Scalede to the pre-warning pretty soon. And now I got it. There he punched it. And he is a little bit less than two minutes behind Lucas Liland to that pre-warning. Should be top 5, 6, something like that for Ricardo in the finish in a short while. Sì, potrebbe essere nella top 6 Riccardo Scaletta, ha guadagnato ancora Scaletta altri 20 secondi. A 20 secondi alla volta Riccardo Scaletta sarebbe in grado di scalare la montagna, ma c'è troppo poco tempo per lui. And so then Trono Adam Denmark heading into 8th position right now, 1.58.20, 5.55 behind the current leader Lucas Liland, Norway. A breve forse un puntino azzurro. In fondo al campo gara, Riccardo Scaletta ha condotto una gran rimonta ad Archeton e questo può essere di buon auspicio per la middle distance di sabato. Il suo distacco è sceso da 2.37 a 1.52 in poco più di 13 minuti di gara.
and Lotta Karola from Finland heading into the finish. 1.35 very soon. This should be a new fourth best time for Lotta Karola from Finland heading into the finish right there and into fourth position. 1.35.05, 3.32 behind the current leader Sarina Kivors from Switzerland. So waiting for Ricardo Scalere in a couple of minutes. Riccardo Scalet credo che sia là in fondo, ho visto prima una maglia che sembrava azzurra, potrebbe essere quella di Riccardo Scalet, il capitano della squadra azzurra, chiamato ancora una volta a guidare la nazionale con tutti i junior e le junior schierate. And a while ago, a couple of minutes ago, Lisa Rispi punched the control just before they are heading into the last part of this course. The fourth split time in lead, 75-51. So that means she's 32 seconds faster than Sarina Kiborz from Switzerland. With the last controls to go for Lisa Rispi from Sweden, the world champion in relay in the Czech Republic this summer. Quello è Riccardo Scalette, sono convinto che quando andremo a vedere gli split time il suo tempo in Archeton sarà il migliore o comunque uno dei migliori. Entrato in Archeton con 2.37, uscito con meno di due minuti. Sono gli ultimi decine di metri del percorso per Riccardo Scalette in gara in questo momento da 113 minuti. Questa è una maratona più che una long distance. È lui. Con le spalle nude sento salire anche il tifo dei tifosi italiani. Qui alla foresta del Cansiglio sono gli ultimi metri prima dell'ultimo punto di controllo. Riccardo Scaletta. Il capitano, the quarterback of the national team, at the very last control, he has been the fastest in Arcaton, in the area of Arcaton. We will see on Saturday in the middle distance. This is good for our hopes on the middle distance. A very impressive speed here from Ricardo Scadere. Heading into the finish, running time right now is 1.53 and a half. So it should be a new fifth or sixth or seventh time. It's very, very tight. Riccardo Scaletta, autore di un inizio di stagione fantastico, poi qualche problema a metà stagione, ma adesso sta dando il suo meglio per mettere il suo nome sul bersaglio delle finali di Coppa del Mondo. Ultimi metri del percorso per Riccardo Scaletta, ultimi metri per lui, siamo a un'ora 54 minuti in questo momento, taglia il traguardo in sesta posizione Riccardo Scaletta. 1.54.04 for Ricardo into sixth position, 1.39 behind the current leader Lucas Liland. At the same time, we got the punch from Sara Hockström. Just uh, close to the arena here, we can't see the runners, but she is there with a time of 74.17. So that means she is one and a half minute faster than uh, Lisa Rispy from Sweden. Also in this uh, Arcaton area now, Lisa Rispy for the two last controls. Waiting for the pre-warning pretty soon now for Lisa Rispy. And she is a threat, definitely for Sarina Kiburs and her leading time, 1.31.33. Maybe the first sub 90 minutes today among the women for Lisa Rispi, but we have to wait for the pre-warning first of all. And seven, eight minutes now to the punch from Martin Riegbon to the second split. The time to beat is 55 minutes and four seconds. Auden Heimdahl from Norway, clearly the fastest in the beginning. And now we got the punch from Andrine Benemensen at the third split time, 66-37. So that means she is 115 
Faster than Sara Hagström from Sweden. So Andrine Benemisen still running really good out there. And Marie Olausen from Norway heading into the finish. And Marie into seventh position right now. 137.06. 5.33 behind Sarina Kiburz from Switzerland. Riccardo Scaletta ha detto uno dei più bei terreni dove ha mai gareggiato, ha fatto i complimenti agli organizzatori e attenzione è molto convinto di quello che potrà fare sabato, esce da questa gara sapendo che sabato potrà fare il suo meglio. Riccardo Scaletta ha detto uno dei migliori terreni della sua vita, congratulazioni al suo organizzatore e è molto confidente per sabato. Oh, bello nice to hear. Nice to hear from Riccardo. So current standings, Lucas Lilam, Norway in lead among the men. Pascal Bux, Switzerland in second, and Thomas Greda, Czech Republic in third. And among the women, Sarina Kiburz in lead right now. Hanna Lundberg, Sweden in second, and Teresa Janoshikova, Czech Republic in third. But waiting for some big names very soon to the pre-warning. First of all, Lisa Risby and then Sara Hagström. And Emil Svens now to the first split time. 37 minutes and 6 seconds. He's 26 seconds behind Martin Regborn. So that's a great start for Emil Svensk. And Denise Kosova, Czech Republic, just punched the pre-warning. She has been out for 90 minutes right now. And uh, maybe top 5 right now for Denise Kosova in a short while. Sta arrivando a trovare anche Denisa Kosova, Emil Svensk, accreditato nel terzo tempo dopo 37 minuti di gara a Rigborn, poi Buxa e Svensk. In campo femminile al momento Alexanderson su Ebersod, Gemperle, poi Benjamin Senrisby. A Hagstrom. Oh, waiting for Simona Ebersold in a couple of minutes, I believe, to the third split time. The time to beat is 66.37. And right now, 63 minutes running for Simona Ebersold. Andrina Benemissen right now the fastest. Si sta decidendo anche la classifica generale di Coppa del Mondo. Ebersold guida con 15 punti di vantaggio su Alexanderson, la vincitrice prende 100 punti, la seconda ne prende 80, fate voi i calcoli stasera dove Alexanderson potrebbe essere al comando con 5 punti di vantaggio su Simona Ebersold. I'm waiting now for Lisa Rispe. So the pre-warning should be there any second, really. Arturs Paulins from Latvia, heading into the finish. Well, I'm waiting for Elisa Rispi to the pre-warning. And later on for Sara Hagström. Sara started six minutes behind Lisa Rispe. And we have lost uh, Marianne Andersen somewhere. She started pretty good, but then I can't see her split times at all, actually. To the third split time now, Max Peter Beimer from Sweden, uh, 94.02. That's fifth best, but only 54 seconds behind uh, Pascal Bux, the leader at that time. But it's very close, as you can hear, at the third split time so far among the men. And still no punch from Lisa Risby. And uh, now we can see it has been a mistake here in the Arcaton area for Lisa Risby. Because now she is late compared with Sarina Kiburz from Switzerland to the pre-warning. 
Now we got the punch from Simona Ebersold instead at the third split time. 65 minutes and 44 seconds. That's the fastest right now. So that means she is a little bit less than one minute faster than Andrine Benemesen. And now I got the punch from Lisa Risby at the pre-warning, but she's late. She's late. She will not beat Sarina Kiburts. So Sarina will keep that lead for a while. So for how long will it last her lead, Sarina Kiburts? Next threat is Sara Hagström. Also on her way to that pre-warning in some minutes. Sarina Kibbutz resterà al comando delle operazioni anche dopo l'arrivo di Lisa Risby che è vicina ma non così vicina da impensierire l'atleta svizzera. Mentre Simone Ebersold mantiene la testa della classifica con 53 secondi di vantaggio su Andrine Beniaminsen dopo 66 minuti di gara. And Garrett Museum from Austria still running good. Second split time 56-14. Third best. Only one minute, ten seconds behind. Auden Heimdahl from Norway. And Andrine Benemisen now to this last split time before um, just before the last part, the two last controls. Uh, and she is in lead. And the lead is quite big now for Andrine Benemisen. It's one and a half minutes down to Sara Hockström from Sweden. Andrea Beniamin si è annunciata con il miglior tempo di gara dopo 73 minuti circa, un margine di vantaggio importante su Sara Hagstrom, quasi un minuto e mezzo. And Denisa Kosova heading into the finish. And Denisa into fifth position right now. 95-10, 95-10, 3.37 behind Sarina Kaburts. At the same time, we got the punch from Tove Alexanderson at the third split. 61-41, 61-41 for Tove Alexanderson. And that means she is, let's see now. This is a little bit strange now, uh, all times here in my computer. But I have to calculate it by myself. And Tove is near, uh, she's four minutes, four minutes faster now than Simona Ebersold. So that's very, very impressive. At the same time, we got the punch from Sara Hagström from Sweden. And we are definitely waiting for a new best time. Definitely waiting for a new best time, Sara Hagström. Lisa Rispy is on her way, but she did some mistakes in the very end of the course today. So she will not beat Sarina Kiburs, but Sara Hagström is running really, really good. And 84 minutes running right now for Sara Hagström. But fastest of them all, Tove Alexandersson. And we can compare that uh, uh, Sara Hagström at the third split is six minutes behind Tove Alexandersson. Six minutes behind is Sara Hagström. So Tove back in shape really today it looks like she will be very hard to beat today dove alexanderson sembra essere veramente di un altro pianeta oggi ha un vantaggio enorme su natalia gemperle quasi quattro minuti poco più di quattro minuti su simona ebersold gara invece molto consistente per sara hagstrom che sarà qui a breve con la nuova prima posizione abbiamo assistito anche ad un errore terribile da parte di joy adon che a un certo momento era in un'altra regione e poi si è ricollocato improvvisamente e partito a tutta velocità verso il primo punto di controllo, lasciando però lì le speranze per una vittoria o per un buon piazzamento quest'oggi, Joey Hadorn. Yeah, we saw from the uh, GPS tracking, Joe Hardorn from Switzerland, with a big, big mistake on the first control already. On the way to the first control, I would say. And lost minutes, really. So he is not in contention today, Joe Hardorn from Switzerland in this long distance. And now we can see Lisa Rispy is approaching the last control. And the time is running for Lisa. Right now, 91 and a half minutes running. So the time is running out right there against uh, Sarina Kiburts. And then we are waiting for Sora Hagström. 
Lisa Risby sta arrivando all'ultimo punto di controllo e poi misteriosamente si volta indietro a vedere cosa sta succedendo alle sue spalle non ci sono non c'è segnale di vita per almeno 300 metri and now we got the punch from Lisa Risby at the last control heading into the finish right now Lisa Risby 92 minutes running right now for Lisa and Hanna Lundai 94 minutes and 4 seconds she will beat Hanna Lundai definitely but not Sarina Kiborz so Lisa Rispe is running towards the second position right now. Isia Basé also heading into the finish. Right behind her we have Lisa Rispe from Sweden. Isia Basé per la Francia, al traguardo la sorellina di Luca Basé. Ed ecco Lisa Rispe. Into second position right now Lisa with a mistake here in the very very end. We can see it from the times because uh, she was ahead of Sarina Kiburs, but now she's behind Sarina Kiburs when crossing the finish line. Lisa Rispe right there into second position and the time is 92 minutes and 59 seconds. 1.26 behind Sarina Kiburs. Hanna Lundberg right now in third. Rimane al comando Sarina Kiburs anche dopo l'arrivo di Lisa Rispe. And we also got uh, Simona Ebersol to the last split time before this uh, Arcaton area. And she is in lead. Two minutes faster than Sara Hockström is uh, Simona Ebersol. And she is uh, also 40 seconds ahead of uh, Andrine Benemesen. Waiting for Andrine pretty soon to the pre-warning. But waiting now for Sara Hagström into the last control. She's coming down there, I believe. Indeed. And Sara Hagström running time right now is 88 minutes. So I think we will have the first sub 90 today for Sara Hagström in the women's class. Maybe Tove will help the course setter to maintain the time uh, into a certain uh, amount of minutes. Uh. Absolutely, and this will be a great position today for Sora Hockström. Uh, maybe top five, something like that for Sora Hockström, I believe. I've shown some uh, great form, and now we can see also that uh, Sora Hockström is heading into the finish, and the time is ticking for Sora. 88 and a half minutes running right now for Sara Hawks in Sweden. And this is clearly a new best time right now in the class for women for Sara Hawks in Sweden. She will beat Sarina Kiburts. And at the same time, Tove Alexandersson is smashing everybody today. Just past the last split time. We'll come back to that. First of all, the finish from Sara Hockström. This is a new current leader in this long, long distance. Cancelio, Italy. Great to see Sara. And the finish time for Sara Hawksen today. And the new best time in the finish. The first sub-90. 89 minutes and 10 seconds, I would say, preliminary. But clearly, a new best time for Sara Hawksen Sweden. Sarina Kaburz in second. Lisa Rispe in third right now. Svezia, Svizzera, Svezia. Il podio dopo l'arrivo di Sara Hagström. Un'ora 29-10 secondi. Un margine di vantaggio molto ampio su Sarina Kiburz. Siamo attorno ai 2 minuti e 20 secondi circa. Nel frattempo Tove Alexanderson sta piallando la concorrenza. Quasi 5 minuti di vantaggio su Simone Ebersold. With the last split time, just before the Arcaton area, with two more controls to take, uh, plus the last control also. Tove Alexanderson is now nearly 5 minutes faster than Simona Ebersold in second spot. So she is running really, really strong today, Tove Alexanderson. So that means, if I can see her, I'm waiting, still waiting for the finish time for Sora Hockström, the official finish time. But it will not be that many minutes, over 80 minutes for Tove Alexandersson, that's incredible. That's incredible, really. 69 minutes running right now for Tove. And a great performance today by Tove Alexandersson, Sweden, so far. In questo momento Tove Alexanderson sta veramente dimostrando di essere di un altro pianeta così come in campo maschile per tutte le sue tifose italiane. Casper Arlen Fosser sembra essere preso dal furore agonistico e passa il comando nettamente dopo il primo punto radio il norvegese.
While we are waiting for the pre-warning from Andrine Benemisen and Simona Ebersol, still waiting for that one. Now we got the official time for Sara Hagström also. 89 minutes and 10 seconds. The lead is 2.23 down to Sarina Kiburts and 3.49 down to Lisa Risby. Waiting very soon now for Andrine Benemisen through pre-warning and later on for Simona Ebersol and of course Tove Alexandersson. Natalia Gempele is in third position. Uh, she is ahead of, uh, let's see here, she's in third. Yeah, correct. Tove, Simona and Natalia, one, two, three, at the third split time. Intanto Marianne Andersen sarà la prossima atleta a giungere al traguardo. Era partita con una forte quinta posizione, poi precipitata in diciannovesima posizione, una rimonta fino alla tredicesima, ma adesso viaggia Marianne Andersen in ventesima posizione la meno giovane tra tutte le atlete presenti al via, anche lei sopra i 40 anni. Mentre che dire sulla gara di Tove, Alex Anderson ancora una volta dimostra di essere un autentico fenomeno della natura, oltre ogni possibile aspettativa, oltre ogni possibilità lasciata alle sue avversarie oggi in questa foresta del Cansiglio. Third last starter among the men, also the leader of the overall World Cup right now, Kasper Fosser from Norway. And he smashed it to the first split time. 34-32, 34-32. That's nearly two minutes faster than Alden Heimdahl in second. And compared with Lucas Liland, the current leader in the finish, he is four minutes faster. Impressive start by Kasper Fosser. And now we got the punch from Andrine Benemisen at the pre-warning. And she is some 40, 30 seconds uh, faster than Sara Hagström to that pre-warning. È il duello tra Andrine Benjaminsen, Norvegia e Sara Hagström, Svezia, che si potrarà sul traguardo. Sono una trentina di secondi abbondante il vantaggio fino ad Andrine Benjaminsen. Mm, Andrine Benjaminsen, definitely a threat for Sara Hagström. And a leading time of 89-10, 89-10. 84 minutes running right now for Andrine Benjaminsen. And we knew that uh, Simona Ebersold started six minutes behind Andrine. But what a start from Kasper Fosser. Now we have to wait for Matthias Kiburts and Olav Lundanes, the two last starters. Daniel Hopman in third spot, I can tell you, at the first split. 36-24. But he is 152 behind Kasper Fosser. I think this will suit Kasper really, really good today. We have in Italy a uh, Casper Foster fan club, I have to say, so <laughs> they will yeah. have a party maybe this evening, uh, but uh, we have to see how Casper Foster will manage, will deal with Archeton and yeah. the second part of the, of the course, of oh, course. Oh, definitely, definitely. So waiting for Simona Abersol to repair warning, and then uh, uh, Tove Alessandersson, and uh, Natalia Gempel also, of course. Natalia in second spot. She is four and a half minutes behind Tove Alessandersson. And now we got the punch from Max Peter Beimer at the pre-warning. And maybe, maybe a threat for Lucas Liland. The Arcaton champion, Max Peter Beimer, he had run really good near the Arcaton area in this very end. He just punched the pre-warning. And we also got the punch from Matthias Kiburts and Simon Hector, Hector heading into the finish. Matthias Kiburts, the second last start of the day, 36.04, second best to that first split, but he is one and a half minute behind Kasper Fosser, who is flying out there. In the meantime, I was talking with Emiliano Corona, one of the course setters, he said that the course has been calculated considering Tove Alexandersson, yeah, so yeah. maybe the time will be right for Tove Alexandersson oh. and for no one else. Exactly. It will be some minutes uh, over 80 minutes, but uh, of course, Tuber Sandersson is running in her own galaxy really today. So Max Peter Beimer also on his way down to the open field and the last control and the finish. And he is a strong runner, Max Peter. So I think he will, um, he will beat Lucas Leland and the time to beat is 1.52.25. But it's pretty close at the pre-warning. And to the second split, Emil Svensk, Sweden, is also running really good. Second best, 55-28, 24 seconds behind Auden Heimdahl. Waiting for Auden in a couple of minutes to the third split time also. Auden has shown so good form this autumn, really. 
Very interesting team today, Odenheimdahl, and is running really good here in the beginning. And uh, 75 minutes running right now for Tove Alessandersson. Simona Ebersold, 81 minutes running right now. Very soon the pre-warning from Simona Ebersold. Avremo aprire un'altra guarda anche di Max Peter Beimer che ha vinto anche le gare in Primiero qualche anno fa. Poi si è scoperto anche essere un grande sprinter. Marianne Andersen, into the finish. And now we got the punch from Simona Ebersol at the pre-warning. And we are waiting for a new best time, definitely. She is uh, more than two minutes faster than Sara Hockström from Sweden. And Marianne Andersen heading into the finish right now. And great to see Marianne uh, back in the World Cup circuit. And Andrine Benemesan is pushing hard here in the behind. Andrine, time is running. 88 minutes running very soon. And the time to beat is 89.10. So definitely we have a new best time. Andrine Benemesan from Norway. 88 minutes and some seconds for Andrine. Here she comes. Great to see Andrina and into a new best time right now. The new current leader, Andrina Benemis in Norway, 88 minutes and 10 seconds. And that means exactly one minute faster than Sara Hockström from Sweden. But waiting now for Simona Ebersold. And also the punch from Tove Alexandersson already at the pre-warning. And she will win mid the margin of approximately six minutes today. Wow! She is back. She is back. That's very, very impressive. And Max Peter Beimer with a really good finish also. Max Peter is coming here now. 1.51. The time to beat is 1.52.25. And he will do it. This is a new current leader right now. Max Peter Beimer with a very strong finish today from Max Peter. Great to see Max. And into a new best time right now. Max Peter Beimer from Sweden. And the time is 1.52.01. And the margin down to Lucas Leland, 24 seconds, 24 seconds. Abbiamo quindi la nuova leader dalla Norvegia, il capo femminile Andrene Benjaminsen che prende il posto di una svedese. Abbiamo un nuovo leader in campo maschile, Max Peter Beimer dalla Svezia che prende il posto di un norvegese. Ma è fantastico vedere la progressione di Max Peter Beimer dal ventesimo al dodicesimo, al quinto, al terzo, al primo posto fino a questo momento. Una grande gara di rimonta per Max Peter Beimer, Svezia. And at the pre-warning, Tove Alessandersson was just 20 seconds behind Simona Ebersold in the terrain. So maybe they are coming together. Because she is pushed very hard here in the end. And show all us that she is back. The queen of orienteering, really. The five times world champion this summer in the Czech Republic. Out of five. Very impressive. Penso che le possiamo vedere perché vediamo un puntino rosso ed è Simona Ebersold e dietro c'è un puntino azzurro, Tove Alexanderson e anche se ci sono sei minuti di distacco tra loro è comunque una sfida, Simona Ebersold vorrà arrivare al traguardo prima di Tove Alexanderson e Tove Alexanderson vorrà imporre la sua legge. Yeah, we can see it now, Simona Ebersold and just some 50 meters behind, maybe 75 meters behind Tove Alexanderson and Tove on her way to her 35th World Cup win ever. And also, now a great position for the last World Cup event on Saturday, individually, to secure maybe her seventh straight World Cup overall title. It doesn't seem that there are six minutes uh, between the two runners. Uh, yeah. They want to be first uh, at the yeah. finish line. It doesn't matter about uh, the place. Exactly. And Natalia Gempel has also punched that pre-warning. And I think Natalia is running towards the second position uh, today. She will beat Simona Ebersold. But no one, no one will beat Tove Alexandersson. Five times world champion in the Czech Republic, very impressive. Then she got infected by COVID-19 and she couldn't perform as she was, uh, uh, as we were expected in Idrifjell. But now she is back, now she is fresh again on the show. Her skills, really. COVID-19 can't stop Tove Alexander. No, Sloan. no, 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 no. That's, uh, that's for sure. That's for sure. So, Simona Ebersol heading into the last control, and very soon also Tove Alessandersson, Robert Merrill, Austria, heading into the finish. First of all, where we have you right now, Max Peter Beimer in lead, Lucas Leland second, and Pascal Bux in third. 
and Tobias Andersson is coming down there into the last control very soon and is running towards the 35th World Cup win in her fantastic career. 29 years old right now, uh, Tove Alice Andersson from Bålänge in Sweden. But first of all, Simone Ebersold, and looks to me, it will be a third position today for uh, Simone Ebersold. Right behind Tove Alice Andersson and Natalia Gempele. E per Simone Ebersol comunque anche gli ultimi metri sono importanti perché sono tutti i punti che contano per la classifica di World Cup. In questo momento Tove Alexanderson riprenderà la testa, sarà la leader della classifica questa sera con 5 punti se Simone sarà seconda o 15 punti se Simone sarà terza. Ecco to Simone Ebersol. Simone Ebersol heading into the finish and right now the current leader but very soon Tove Alexanderson will take it over and then Natalia Gempel is so third position today for Simone Ebersol I believe. But this is the winner today without any any question Tove Alexanderson. What a performance. Nice to see Tove and your 35th World Cup win ever. And also, after this race, she will be in top of the World Cup standings overall. She was only 15 points behind uh, Simona. 81 minuti netti, anzi 81 minuti in meno un secondo per Tove Alexanderson e l'infame sorrideva, sorrideva al traguardo. She was smiling at the finish yeah, line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 80 minutes and 59 seconds for Tove Alexanderson. Simona Ebersol 86-41, 5-42 behind. But now we are waiting for Natalia Gemperle very soon into the last control and into a second position. So that means... Top three is Tove, Natalia and Simona. And fourth place, Andrine Binemessen. Fifth, Sara Hagström. And sixth place, Sarina Kiburz. Sarà una premiazione con le prime sei fortissime atlete. Un podio nobilitato da Tove Alexanderson, da Natalia Gemperle, da Simone Ebersold. E tra Natalia Gemperle e Simone Ebersold dobbiamo ancora vedere chi sarà seconda e chi sarà terza. E sono convinto che anche Natalia Gemperle arriverà al traguardo sorridendo, come sempre. In tutta la sua carriera. And with Tove Alexander Sean, also the sun come back. Huh? Super. She's the sun, maybe. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fantastic performance today. And nice to see Tove Alexander Sean back on track and where she belongs. At the same time, we've got the new best time to the first pit time among the men. And it's Odin Heimdall from Norway. He is running really, really good today. 89.23 to the first pit time. And compared with the current leader in the finish, Max Peter Beimer, he is almost five minutes faster. Very impressive by Odin Heimdall so far. Il norvegese Odon Heimdall ha sicuramente trovato grande feeling con la foresta del Cansiglio perché viaggia con 4 minuti e 40 di vantaggio sullo svedese Max Peter Beimer. And let's see now, Natalia Gempele. She was ahead of Simone Eversold at the pre-warning, but I think it will be very tough for Natalia. She is struggling, she is fighting down there, and I don't think she will beat Simone Eversold. Natalia Gemperle sta lottando per la seconda posizione, ma Simone Ebersold è stata spinta, pushed by Tove Alexander Sol fino al traguardo. Ah, uh, exactly. Yeah, yeah, that's correct. That's correct. But only 20 seconds now for Natalia. No, she will not do it. So that means Simone Ebersold in second position and Natalia Gemperle in third because the time is running out in 10 seconds time and she will not reach the finish line until that time. Si inserirà in terza posizione Natalia Gemperle. Questo vuol dire che il margine di vantaggio questa sera tra Tove Alexanderson e Simone Ebersold nella World Ranking Final sarà di soli 5 punti. Yeah, the time is running out against Simone Ebersold, so Natalia Gempele, first of all, only Oyanao from Finland heading into the finish, and here's Natalia Gempele, fighting, 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 and into third position right now, right today, for Natalia Gempele from Russia. So right behind Tove Alexanderson and Simona Ebersold, Natalia Gempele into third position, 87 minutes and 10 seconds. 6-11 behind Tove Alexanderson and some 18-29 seconds behind Simona Ebersold in second. Fantastico arrivo anche per Natalia Gemperle che ha impiegato soltanto due secondi dopo aver tagliato il traguardo per recuperare il sorriso, sempre espansiva, sempre così sorridente.
She's so smiling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Always right. smiling. Always smiling. So that means that Tove Alexandersson is a new current leader in the overall World Cup, 405 points. Simon Ebersold is five points behind, 400 uh, flat for Simon Ebersold. So the battle will continue on Saturday. On Saturday in Akaton, the battle will continue. Tove Alexandersson against Simon Ebersold. I promise we will see fireworks on Saturday. <laughs> yeah. In the Arcaton area. Arcaton area. It's yep. fantastic. It's a yep. nightmare. So the 10 best among the women preliminary. Tove Alexandersson, today's winner. In second, Simona Ebersold, Switzerland. In third, Natalia Gempele, Russia. Fourth place, Andrine Binemessen, Norway. Fifth, Sara Hockström, Sweden. Sixth place, Sarina Kiburt, Switzerland. Seventh, Lisa Risby, Sweden. Eighth, Hanna Lundberg, Sweden. Ninth place, Teresa Janoshikova, Czech Republic. And in tenth place, Lotta Karola from Finland. There you have the 10 best preliminary. And at the same time, we got the second split time from Kasper Fosser. And he is flying out there. 51 minutes and 24 seconds. That means he is 3 minutes and 40 seconds faster than Alden Heimdahl in second spot. And compare with the current leader, Max Peter Beim in Sweden. He is almost 7 minutes faster. Wow! Casper Foster sta volando, 3 minuti e 40 di vantaggio su Audon Heimdall e quasi 7 minuti di vantaggio su Max Peter Beimer che è il leader fino a questo momento. A uh, very impressive so far from Casper Foster. Who will be able to beat him? If he continues like this, no one, I can tell you. No one. What about Tove Alexanderson? No, oh, maybe, maybe, maybe not. Maybe. So Kasper Fosser, the third last starter. Daniel Hopman has been there also, but he is passed by Kasper Fosser, not together with Kasper. And Daniel is in third place, 55.05, 3.41 behind Kasper Fosser in third spot. Grande eterno Daniel Hopman si inserisce in terza posizione dopo 55 minuti di gara, un solo secondo dietro a Audun Emdal, ma è stato staccato da Kasper Fosser di 40 secondi. 3 minuti e 41 il suo ritardo in questo momento. And now we got the punch also from Audon Heimdahl at the last split time before the Arcaton area, the two last controls. And he's still in lead. Almost five minutes faster than Max Peter Beimer for Audon Heimdahl, who is running really good today. Waiting also for Isaac from Krusekana. He has passed, punched the pre-warning, Isaac. And uh, 150 right now. Karin Olson heading into the finish. After this long distance here in Cancillo in Italy for Karin Olson into 13th position today. 136.37 for Karin Olson today. Uh, Martin Regborn at the second split time with a time of 55.48. It's his sixth place, but four and a half minutes behind Casper Fosser for Martin Regborn. So waiting for Matthias Kibur soon to that second split time. He started three minutes behind Kasper Fosser. And he was one and a half minute behind at the first split time, Matthias, behind Kasper. So let's see now at the second split time because Kasper Fosser running much faster than everybody else. In the meantime, I can say that the name, the specific name of the map of Arcaton for Saturday is Paradise. Because of the paradise. name of the house, the Paradise. Could be Paradise, could be Hell. Ah, okay. I don't know. No, we have to wait and see. But it is the very same arena and the very same finish. And the very same uh, 600 meter far from the forest. Oh, uh. <laughs> don't mention the war. Okay. <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> no. So uh, waiting for Alden Heimdahl to the pre-warning in a couple of minutes and then the finish. And waiting now for Matthias Kiburts, Switzerland, to that uh, second split time.
But what a battle we have. To Wallace Andersson, five points only ahead of Simona Ebersol with one race to go on Saturday, the middle distance. Cinque punti di distacco tra Tove Alexandersson e Simone Ebersod significa con il meccanismo dei punteggi che consideriamole già nelle posizioni di podio quella che arriva prima sabato vincerà la Coppa del Mondo. A meno che Archeton non faccia il miracolo di ribaltare completamente le classifiche. Nell'area la mappa si chiama Paradiso, può essere Paradiso, può essere Inferno, la mano, la mano può essere Piuma, può essere Pietra. William Lind and Lina Strand, both Sweden, heading into the finish. And waiting now for Isak von Krusenkana, who's coming down here. And 153 right now. Uh, top six, maybe, right now for Isak von Krusenkana, heading into the finish. The world champion in sprint this summer in the Czech Republic, in Terezin. Uh, Isak von Krusenkana. And here he is. Into the finish for Isak, and let's see the finish time. Jens Rönnels, 1.53.54, and for Jens Rönnels, 1.53.56. Two seconds behind Jens Rönnels, into seventh position right now for Isak. Isak von Skorzenstierna, settima position for him, quasi two minutes of retard. Two solid seconds of retard from his companion of national Jens Rönnels. Per il campione del mondo sprint di Terzin, Repubblica Ceca quest'anno 2021. Still no punch from Mattias Kiburz at the second split time. Now I got it. Now I got it. 54-34. It's the second best time for Mattias Kiburz, but he is more than three minutes behind Kasper Fosser. So Kasper is running in his own division so far. Very impressive so far from Kasper Foster, Norway. Anche Mattias Kiburz inserisce il suo nome tra i pretendenti per una delle migliori posizioni. Anche se in questo momento nessuno sembra avere la possibilità di prendere il ritmo di Kasper Harlem Foster. Mattias Kiburz in seconda posizione a 3 minuti e 10 da Fosser. Poi Hemdal a 3.40, Hubman a 3.41, questa è la top 4, Norvegia, Svizzera, Norvegia, Svizzera. Riccardo Scaletta al momento dopo l'arrivo di Isaac von Kruzeschern al traguardo è in ottava posizione. 100 minutes running right now for Auden Heimdahl from Norway, waiting for that pre-warning pretty soon from Auden. Right now we have the current standings, Max Peter Beimer, Sweden in lead, 152.01. Lukas Lila, Norway in second, 24 seconds behind. And Pascal Bux from Switzerland in third, 56 seconds behind Max Peter Beimer, the current leader. And the uh, official results from the uh, race for the women today, this uh, World Cup event, the long distance, Cancelio Italy, are now published. So, um, 15 minutes from now for any complaints regarding the official results from the women's race. Thank you. And 1.42 now for Auden Heimdahl, waiting for that pre-warning very, very soon from Auden. La classifica femminile definitiva, sto scorrendo i tempi, vedo che Elena Pezzati è 36esima, scorrendo ancora, vedo Carlotta Scalet 62esima. 
And now I got the punch from Audun Heimdahl at the pre-warning. And uh, clearly, we are waiting clearly for a new best time. He will beat Max Peter Beimer with, uh, I think, more than five minutes. More than five minutes. This is a very good race from uh, Audun Heimdahl today. I'm not surprised because he has shown some form this autumn. Very impressive has he been on home soil in Norway this autumn. And now also he show he can run here in Italy. Adam Heimdall, una chiara prima posizione, più di 5 minuti il suo vantaggio sullo svedese Max Peter Beimer, che guida la classifica fino a questo momento, annunciato in grande forma, vedremo in che posizione si inserirà, al momento è l'unico ad aver preso il numero di targa di Mattias Kiburz, di Daniel Hubman, ma davanti a tutti il fantasma di Kasper Harlem Fosser. Uh, I mean, looking at the times, uh, Auden Heimdall, I think this race can be enough for top three today, for Audun. I think so. A top four, Foster, Heimdall from Norway, Kiburz, Hubman from Switzerland. Absolutely. Could but be enough. Yeah, maybe <laughs> I say top three, I believe, for uh, Audun Heimdall today. But we have to wait to see, of course. Now we got the punch also from Gernot Imsien at the third uh, split time and he is second there 91.50 he is 2.27 behind Auden Heimdahl but he is two minutes faster than Max Peter Beimer the current leader in the finish so Auden Heimdahl now I think we can see the white shirt of Norway down there and Auden Heimdahl Ah, indeed, this is Audun, absolutely. And at the same time, to the third speed time, Martin Regborn, Sweden, 89.26. That means he is only three seconds behind Audun Heimdahl to that third speed time. Martin Regborn is running really strong today. And ah. Sorry. No, no, no. Non stavamo facendo i conti con l'ultimo svedese che deve parlare, Martin Rieborn, che si è riportato sotto ad Audun Heimdall a soli 3 secondi dopo 90 minuti di gara. 1.45 right now, 105 minutes running for Audun Heimdall for, from Norway, heading into the last control. And he's pushing very hard right now. And this is a very good race from Audun Heimdall today. Bianco e rosso con gli inserti blu e Audun Heimdall prenderà la testa della classifica e poi se la dovrà vedere con Redborn, con Hubman, con Kiburz, con Fosser. So Audun Heimdall now punched the last control and pushing very, very hard into the finish. This is a very good race today from Audun Heimdall. And uh, it's so nice to see him perform like this here in Italy, in Cancelio, and this long distance today for Audun Heimdall. He was the junior world champion in Switzerland, very close to Italy. Do you remember that? 2016 and the long distance. I read that long distance, that long distance, Audun Heimdall. Yeah, yeah. Here's Audun. Great to see Audun. And this is clearly a new best time from Audun Heimdall. How long will it last today for Audun? Let's see. We have to wait and see. And the finish time right there. 106 minutes. 1.46.25. 1.46.25. And the leading margin down to Max Peter Beim in Sweden is 5 minutes and 36 seconds. Very, very impressive by Audun Heimdall. Nuovo miglior tempo per il norvegese Audun Heimdall, un'ora, 46 minuti e 25 secondi. Un vantaggio di 5 minuti e 36 secondi sarà sicuramente top 5 alla fine di questa lunga giornata. Uh, let's see how long it will last for Audun. We knew that Kasper Fosser is flying out there. I'm not surprised. But then after Kasper Fosser is pretty open. And maybe Audun Heimdall can be top three today. We have to wait and see. But there are many strong names and big names and threats behind him, of course.
Heimdall il suo l'ha fatto adesso tocca agli altri dimostrare di essere più forti se possono 106 minuti e 25 secondi di gara il percorso potrà essere stato veloce quanto si vuole è stato duro a piacimento con un finale in Archeton dove rimettere in gioco tutto quanto mm, in some minutes waiting for Gernot Imsi and to the Martin Sielmeis from Latvia heading into the finish at the same time but waiting for Gernot Imsi and very soon to the fourth split time just before the Archeton area the two last controls and Elias Kuka from Finland also heading into the finish Kasper Fosser, 66 minutes running right now. 66 minutes running right now for Kasper Fosser, the current leader out there on the course. And Simon Imark from Sweden, also heading into the finish after this very tough long distance. And Tove Alexandersson, the winner in the women's class today. Simona Ebersold in second and Natalia Gempele in third. Three best there. To the third split time, Mika Kirmola from Finland is running pretty good today. He is punching there on the time of 98, 91, sorry, 91.38 in third position. And 2.15 behind Auden Heimdahl and 2.12 behind Martin Regborn. But into third there, uh, Mika Kirmola from Finland. So he's running pretty good. We now is entering the open fields and uh, very soon we will have the next split time for the men, uh, for Mika Kirmola and uh, Martin Hopman from Switzerland heading into the finish. And uh, Martin Hopman right now, 1.53 and the time is ticking. And maybe top six right now for Martin Hopman from Switzerland. Into the finish here right now. He is coming, Martin. Sta arrivando al traguardo anche Martin Hoffman, un amico dell'Italia, tante volte presente anche alle nostre gare di Coppa Italia. Martin Hoffman al traguardo, il campione del mondo a staffetta. Into sixth position right now for Martin Hoffman, Switzerland, 1.53.44. Seven minutes and 90 seconds behind the current leader, Arden Heimdahl. At the same time, and they are right now together, Gernot Imsi in Austria and Martin Rehlborn, Sweden. And they punch the control just before the Arcaton area, the two last controls, very tricky controls. And Martin Rehlborn, he is only five seconds behind Arden Heimdahl. Very, very close. È ancora una sfida spalla a spalla tra Heimdall e Riegborn, perché se prima erano 3 secondi dopo 90 minuti di gara, all'ingresso in Archeton sono 5 soli secondi. Riegborn viaggia con Imsen, l'austriaco. Intanto anche il finlandese Mika Kirmula si rimette in gioco, è in questo momento in terza posizione a 2 minuti e 15 secondi di distacco da Heimdall, per una posizione sicuramente nella top 10 a meno di disastri in Archeton. So Martin Rebon only five, uh, sorry, only three seconds, only five seconds, sorry, only five seconds behind Auden Heimdahl. But we knew that Auden has been very, very fast, very quick and very clean also in the end of the course. So I think it will be tough for Martin Rebon, but they are together, Gernot Imsen and Martin Rebon. Maybe it's an advantage right now or 
disadvantage. You never know. Could be both. Yeah, exactly. Could be both because the area is very tricky. So Ralph Streets heading into the finish, and we are waiting for Mika Kirumola very soon to that uh, last split time before the Arcaton area. Should be there any second now, Mika Kirumola from uh, Finland. Mika Kirumola back in business maybe for a uh, top 10 uh, or something better. Anke Kasper Fosser, anche Matthias Kiburz. Uh, dovranno improvvisamente rallentare, mettere il piede sul freno all'ingresso di Archeton, cambiare completamente strategia, questo è il bello, il bellissimo del nostro sport. And Mika Kirumala and the other in the Finnish team will have Thierry Jojo as the head coach now from October, right after this uh, World Cup Finals, he will uh, be uh, the head coach of the Finnish team. Thierry Jojo, also known as uh, Tero Ketunen. Yep, exactly. Quando Daniel Hubman entrerà nell'area di Archeton troverà pane per i suoi denti alcuni anni fa. Taivainen è stato il protagonista delle gare che hanno ridotto alle lacrime Tove Alexanderson, Kat Taylor e altre atlete che sono uscite veramente con i nervi a pezzi da quell'area. Vedremo cosa saranno in grado di fare gli uomini, gli ultimi dieci della griglia di partenza di questa World Cup Final Long Distance. Italia, Piane del Consiglio 2021. Florian Horvald from Switzerland just punched a third split time in eighth position. He is a little bit more than four minutes behind Auden Heindahl from Norway, the current leader in the finish. 404 is not fine, not found for Florian Horvald is uh, the gap. Uh, Mr. 404 now. Mr. Fine Not Found is Florian Ovald. Mm -hmm. È il nostro pettorale 404, sempre Mr. o Miss uh, Page Not Found, Fine Not Found delle nostre gare. In questo momento è Florian Ovald. But very soon we will have the pre-warning from Martin Riaborn and Gernot Umsien who are running together out there. And uh, Martin Rebon, a big threat for Auden Heimdahl and his leading time of 1.46.25. And now I got the punch from Mika Kirmola at the last split time before the uh, last part of the area of the uh, of the course and he is in third position Mika Kirumala he's running really good today 137 52 249 behind Auden Heimdahl so 242 behind Martin Rebon and there yeah that was Mika Kirumala heading into the spru trees and the last part of the course so running really good today Mika Kirumala from Finland, running for Kalavarasti, like Thierry Jojo did. Like Thierry Jojo, yes. Maybe Mika Kirmula wants to impress the new coach. Oh, oh probably, probably. <laughs> Finlandese Mika Kirmula, che ricordiamo anche protagonista di un episodio divenuto celebre agli ultimi campionati del mondo nella staffetta ma viaggia in terza posizione e mantiene il suo distacco da, dal leader 2 minuti e 49 come dopo 37 minuti di gara così anche dopo 1 ora e 37 non ha perso un solo secondo mica Kirmula in 1 ora di gara non ha guadagnato neanche un secondo and now Martin Riebo needs to be at the pre-warning any second 
At the same time, we got the punch from EMB Svensk at the third split time, 90.15. He's third there, but only 52 seconds behind Auden Heimdahl. So Emil Svensk is running also very good today. But still no punch from Martin Reborn at the pre-warning. And now I think he is late. Martin Reborn aveva viaggiato a 3 secondi e 5 secondi di distacco da Auden Heimdahl. Il suo distacco sembra essere salito leggermente. Potrebbe esserci anche un piccolo ritardo nell'arrivo nell del segnale radio. Ma sembra che Reborn abbia trovato... Qualche difficoltà in Archeton, forse una nuova vittima di Archeton, vedremo presto se sarà così. If it's still working, that pre-warning, uh, Martin Riebon is late now, definitely late. He was together with Gernot Imsien at the last play time, but no sign of of a punch at the pre-warning. Now I got it, so he is late now. He has lost a minute. So it has been a mistake there from Martin Ribon in the Arcaton area, definitely. But he is running towards a new second best time, but he is almost one minute late to the pre-warning compared with Auden Heimdahl from Norway. And he's not together with Gernot Himsien because we are still waiting for the punch from Gernot. Two scelte diverse per Himsen e Reborn. Ma Martin Reborn ha perso 50 secondi da Audun Heimdall, ha viaggiato all'interno dell'area di Archetol mentre Himsen è sceso sull'area più veloce sul bordo. Now we got the punch also from Gernot Imsen, but he is more than half a minute behind Martin Reborn uh, out there, so they are not together anymore. And then we are waiting for Mika Kirumola to that pre-warning. So Martin Reborn down there, approaching the last control pretty soon, and the time is ticking, 1.45 right now. And the time to beat is 1.46.25, but he's too late uh, for that one. We knew that from the pre-warning. The scelta di Jimsen. 42 secondi gli è costata rispetto ad una scelta molto più dritta di Martin Jeborn, probabilmente dettata dalla possibilità di spuntare la miglior posizione possibile, Imsen un po' più conservativa. Alex Niemi from Finland heading into the finish, waiting now for Martin Riegborn from Sweden and also Gernot Imsen, Austria of course. So the time is uh, running, out, running out right there against Auden Heimdahl for Martin Reborn. He lost a minute here in the very end compared with Auden. Here he is, heading into the last control. Indeed. That is a great performance from uh, Martin Reborn. Struggled a lot this year, uh, Martin, but uh, nice to see him back with this kind of performance today. This is a really, really good from uh, Martin Rearborn. So uh, definitely a new second best time. He will beat Max Peter Bame because the, 
The margin right now is 5.36 down to Max Peter from Audenheimdal. So clearly a new second best time here for Martin Reborn from Sweden. Bentornato anche Martin Rebor in affari. Nuova seconda posizione per lui davanti al compagno di squadra Max Peter Beimer dietro ad Aunun Heimdall. Mancano 12 atleti al traguardo. So Martin Rebon heading into a new second best time right behind Aunun Heimdall from Norway for Martin. Great to see Martin. A very good performance and into second spot right now. 1.47.48. One minute. 23 seconds behind the current leader Audun Heimdall from Norway and right now Max Peter Beimer in third. 107 minuti 48 secondi per Martin Rieborn. Svezia, il distacco è di 1 minuto e 23 secondi da Audun Heimdall, Norvegia che guida ancora la classifica. La prossima minaccia per le posizioni del podio è quella di Mika Kirmula. Poi vedremo Daniel Hopman, Matthias Kiburz, Kasper Fosser. Come si inseriranno al momento Riccardo Scalet occupa l'undicesima posizione. And now we have Gernot Imsen, formerly Gernot Kerschbaumer, married to a Swede. So Gernot Imsen, and maybe his last long distance World Cup competition ever. I don't know, maybe he will quit after this season. But another good performance by Gernot, 1.52 very soon. Will he beat Max Peter Beimer? That's the question for Gernot Imsen. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. Into third position right now. Great to see Gernot. Really great to see Gernot Imsen into third position. 1.52 flat. One second faster than Max Peter Beimer. Great <laughs> Gernot into third position right now. So that will be a very solid position in the end of this competition. Great to see. Gernot Imsen, una volta noto come Gernot Kerschbaumer, un altro amico dell'Italia, ha gareggiato tanti anni nel Pan Christianstad con Alessio Tenani. Dopo 112 minuti di gara, un secondo meglio di Max Peter Beimer per la terza e quarta posizione. Intanto c'è un uomo nel fo nella foresta che continua a volare. Still flying in the forest at the beginning of Arketon area. The name of this flight is Casper Harlem Fosser. Air Norwegia, 1 hour 22.36, he is leading 6 minutes and 47 seconds on Audun Heimdall, he is flying. Nuovo leader all'inizio dell'area di Arketon, Kasper Fosser, tutte le sue tifose, anche tifosi italiani, Stanno sicuramente cominciando a festeggiare il Casper Foster Fan Club in Italia. We also have had uh, Mika Kirmola at the pre-warning. So Mika on his way into the finish and it will be a fourth position, no, third position, I believe. Right behind Auden Heimdall and Martin Rigmor for Mika Kirmola and Kasper Foster at the third split time. 82.36 and as uh, Stefano said six, no, nearly seven minutes faster than Alden Heimdall. So that means he will run sub 100 minutes, I believe. It's incredible. It's incredible. Uh, it is incredible. He is incredible, Kasper. Maybe the length and climb at the end were right. Okay, yeah. Tove and Kasper maybe oh, are yeah, helping yeah, yeah, exactly. cool setter to maintain the course. Yeah. And now we can see the white colors down there, white and a little bit blue also, Mika Kirmala on his way into the loss control. Uh, a very good performance by Mika Kirmala today, I must say. Really nice to see. Fantastic. And Milos Nikodim also on his way into the finish. It was a fight today for everybody. Hard fight and Mika Kirimala on his way into the last control, Mika, right now. And the time is ticking 1.49 very soon for Mika Kirimala and will be certainly a new third best time right behind Auden Heimdall and Martin Riegborn for Mika Kirimala. So it's a really good performance by Mika today, very nice to see. 
Milos Nicodim è passato davanti alla postazione speaker sorridendo, scuotendo la testa, ha <ride> guardato per Forsberg, come dirgli ma che cosa stai dicendo? E per Forsberg ha dovuto ammettere che la gara di oggi è stata veramente dura, ma grande prova anche di presenza di spirito da parte di, Mikos Nicodim, di Milos Nicodim, congratulazioni a lui. And here's Mika Kiermolo now, fighting towards the finish line. And a great performance today by Mika Kiermolo from Finland. 1.50 very soon. And this is clearly a new third best time for Mika Kiermolo. And maybe top six today for Mika. Maybe. Maybe top six. We will come back to that, of course. But it's a great performance today by Mika Kirmala from Finland. Heading into the finish and it's a new third best time. Auden Heimdall, Martin Rearborn. And here is now Mika Kirmala heading into third position. Great to see Mika. And the finish time today for Mika Kirmala right there. <laughs> uh, they are like Bjorn Daly, all of them today. Ha! Ah. Mika Kirmala, 1.50.25 into third position right now, four minutes behind Alden Heimdall. They are, they are crushing right after the crossing the finish line. C'era una sola cosa che Mika Kirmala stava cercando più della linea del traguardo ed era il terreno per crollare, per crashing. Proprio dopo la linea del traguardo è crollato, si è lasciato cadere. Abbiamo sentito distintamente i gemiti di dolore e di fatica di Mika Kirmola negli ultimi suoi 30 metri in questo momento terza posizione per lui a 4 minuti dal leader può essere top 6 per lui in questa long distance di piani del consiglio Daniel Hopman just punched the third split time in second position but he is 6 minutes and 19 seconds behind Kasper Fosser and we have to wait now for Matthias Kiburz and as I said mm, Auden Heimdall on the podium today yes I think so i think so, because he has been also very strong in the end today, Alden. Heimdall si sta guadagnando sicuramente il podio, <coughs> Fosser si sta guadagnando la prima posizione, forse neanche problemi in Arketon potrebbero fermarmi a vedere. Hubman, Kiburz, stanno lottando, Kiburz ancora qualche punto di controllo dietro rispetto a Hoffman che si è inserito in seconda posizione davanti a Heimdall ma a 6 minuti e 20 secondi da Fosser Florian Hovald also punched the pre-warning some minutes ago and on his way to the last control and probably right now top 5, 6, something like that for Florian and now we got the punch from Kasper Fosser at the last split time and the, the margin is uh, almost still seven minutes and let's see now if we can see Kasper Fosser heading into the spruce trees and the last section of this course today yes there he is there he is Kasper and <laughs> he is running so good 88 minutes running right now for Kasper Fosser with only three more con controls to pick He was walking. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> really walking. No, no, no. He was running so <laughs> fast. So waiting for Matthias Kibult soon to that uh, third split time. He was three minutes and ten seconds behind Kasper Fosser uh, half an hour ago. So let's see now with the next split time for uh, Matthias Kibult. Because right now we have Kasper Fosser in a clear lead and he will win this competition today and that's absolutely clear but then we have a great fight of the second position si è così perché abbiamo sicuramente Fosser al comando con quasi 7 minuti di vantaggio è un tappone alpino una volta si diceva i distacchi li misuriamo con l'orologio del campanile ma per la seconda posizione sarà sfida spalla spalla sarà sfida shoulder to shoulder siamo quasi a livello di photo finish dopo quasi due ore di gara, dopo 110 minuti di gara. Questo è il bello del nostro sport, dello sport che stiamo seguendo in diretta da più di sei ore. And Florian Hovald, just punched the last control and heading into the finish right now, Florian Hovald from Switzerland and 1.50 right now. It will be a new fifth best time, I believe. Fifth best time, I believe. 
Eskil Kinneberg, Jasper Hans, the third, as I'm in ago, the third split time, but he is nine minutes behind Kasper Fosser in sixth position, Eskil. So Florian Hovalt heading into the finish and into a new fifth best time, I believe. He will beat Max Peter Beimer. A fourth best, maybe, because Gernot Umsien. This is a very good uh, finish here from Florian Hovalt from Switzerland. Will he beat 152 flat? Yes, he will. So this is a new fourth best time for Florian Hovald from Switzerland with a great finish today. So Florian into the finish right there and into fourth position for Florian Hovald. And the time is 1.51.44, 5.19 behind Auden Heimdahl. And now we got the punch from Matthias Kiburz at the third split time. He's still in second position. And now five minutes and 11 seconds behind Kasper Foster. But clearly in a new second best time because he's 1.40 faster than Auden Heimdahl, the current leader in the finish. Florian Oval dal traguardo, nuova quarta posizione, solo pochi secondi davanti a Gernot Himsen e Max Peter Beimer, divisi peraltro tra loro da un solo secondo e nello stesso momento Mattias Kiburz, nuova seconda posizione dopo 90 minuti di gara, ma il distacco da Casper Fosser è di 5 minuti e 11 secondi per il privatista del mondo della 50 km di corsa su Tapirulan e anche tante altre cose Mattias Kiburz ha fatto in orienteering e nelle gare di corsa in montagna anche quest'estate in Italia. So that means that Kasper Fosser is on his way to a third straight win in the big long distance. The world champs in Czech Republic, it was no question. No question the long distance Burusjön IDFL World Cup August. No question. And today, Cancillo, Italy, long distance, no question. Kasper Fosser. Kasper Fosser is the name, uh, is the translation of uh, long distance in many, many, many languages. <laughs> I can say in Italian or two. Yeah. Uh, but he is extremely impressive. And he also won the, the uh, under 23 sky running European Championships in between, somewhere here in the autumn. Just ah. because he didn't have anything else to do. Maybe. No, uh, but he, he, he is good. He is good. Daniel Hoopman uh, sta lottando anche lui. Nuova seconda posizione. Il suo vantaggio è contenuto. Pochi secondi, una ventina di secondi su Adam Heimdall. Forse non condivido la, il piazzamento di Adam Heimdall sul podio. Forse potrebbe essere quarta posizione. Norvegia, Svizzera, Svizzera, Norvegia. Fino a questo momento... Sembra essere il risultato della long distance di Piani del Cansiglio. Oh, Daniel Hoopman is 26 seconds faster than Auden Heimdall to the last split time before the um, last part of the course. So 26 seconds ahead of Auden Heimdall. And that can be the battle for a podium place for Auden today. So let's see what Daniel Hoopman can do, because Matthias Kuburz is ahead. He is 1.30 ahead, approximately, ahead of Auden Heimdahl at the third split time. But waiting very soon now for Kasper Fosser to the pre-warning. Daniel Hoopman sta affrontando Archeton, Matthias Kuburz è appena entrato. Il vantaggio di Daniel Hubman, il distacco di, Adel, di Daniel Hubman è di 1 minuto e 8 secondi all'ingresso in Archeton ed è di 28 secondi su Adam Heimdall, sempre all'ingresso di Archeton, sono 26 secondi a metà strada. Very soon, 95 minutes running for Kasper Fosser, waiting for the pre-warning. Pre Pretty soon now from Kasper. And what a race he performed today. Very, very impressive. Already from the start. To the first split time, he's one and a half minute faster than uh, Matthias Kiburz, who was in second place at that point of the course. Kasper Fosser ha preso la testa della classifica chiaramente già dopo mezz'ora di gara e poi ha via via incrementato il vantaggio. Un'altra categoria oggi, Kasper Fosser, probabilmente saremo in grado di vederlo anche dopo la puzzonatura del pre-warning, attraversare il prato lasciando una scia di fuoco, speriamo di no perché 
Cansiglio ci teniamo a mantenerlo così com'è ma Casper Fosser minaccia veramente di lasciare un solco sul prato di Cappiano del Cansiglio, Tambre il comune che ci ospita oggi e che ci ospiterà perché questa è la stessa area di arrivo della middle distance di sabato. Oh, waiting now for the punch from Casper Fosser at the pre-warning. 95 and a half minutes running right now for Casper. And now we got it. Now I got the punch from Casper Fosser. Clearly the winner today. Without any any question at all. And he's running uh, pretty much the same speed as Auden Heimdall the last uh, split times. So that means he will take the lead away from Auden Heimdall by uh, approximately seven minutes. Approximately seven minutes lead it will be for Casper Fosser. And then we have the battle for the second place, Auden Heimdahl or any of the Swiss runners, Daniel Hopman or Matthias Kiburz. Interessante vedere la progressione del vantaggio di Fosser su Heimdahl. 1 minuto e 48, poi 3.40, poi 6.47 all'inizio di Archeton, 6.48 a metà di Archeton e 6.50 all'uscita di Archeton. So Heimdahl, tr only 3 seconds worse than Fosser in Archeton. Oh, that's correct, that's correct. And now we can see the white colors down there. Kasper Fosser is running along that fence and then out on the open area and approaching the last control and the finish as the winner today. And he is in lead already before this competition in the overall World Cup and he will secure 100 points. So he will be very, very hard to beat in the overall World Cup, I believe, because Joey Hadorn, not the best day from Joey. A big mistake already on the way to the first control today from Joe Hadorn and Daniel Hopman. Yeah, it will be uh, quite clear after this day that Kasper Fosser is on his way to the overall World Cup win this season, definitely. In Italy we used to say, it's Superman, no, it's Batman, no, it's Kasper Fosser, definitely. <laughs> e possiamo vederlo anche da qua dalla velocità quel puntino bianco che diventa sempre più grande sempre più importante è Casper Foster che sta arrivando al traguardo il grande campione norvegese 23 anni e già un passato, un presente e un futuro che dice soltanto medaglie d'oro, soltanto vittorie e ora ho il punch da Mattias Kiburz anche al primo split time just before the the Arcaton area here, and in, in, he's in second position, 5.18, 5.18 between Kasper Foster. So he is in advance, uh, advantage right now for the second position today, Matthias Kiburz. But then we have the battle between Auden Heindahl and Daniel Hopman, waiting for Daniel Hopman to the pre-warning pretty soon. But first of all, we are now waiting for Kasper Foster into the last control and the finish. And another win when it comes to a big, big long distance competition. He is right now unbeatable when it comes to long distance. And the deers move! <laughs> because here he is, Kasper Fosser. Oh, I think they are running faster than Kasper. So Kasper on his way into lost control very, very soon with another absolute top-class performance today by Kasper Fosser. He is pushing so hard already from the start. He has shown us that time after time. But he is so strong and he can keep the speed the whole race. That's very, very impressive. And there we got the last punch from Kasper Fosser and now on his way into the finish line. Maybe the deers recognize Kasper Foss as, as a friend now. Yep, definitely. So Kasper Foster on his way to another win and also very, very important when it comes to the overall World Cup this season because he will be very hard to beat, I believe. We have the middle distance on Saturday, uh, uh, definitely. Theoretically, it's not over yet, but there's a very good chance for Kasper Foster to win it all. Ian Miss first of all, and then we have Kasper Foster. Another uh, victory for Kasper when it comes to long distance racing. He is the king, really. When it comes to long distance orienteering, Kasper Fosser, so impressive and sub 100 minutes, 1.39.51, 1.39.51, the course after is 9 seconds from that time.
Casper Foster, the king of the long distance, unico sotto i 100 minuti, 99 minuti e 51 secondi. Il course setter Emiliano Corona is smiling, sta sorridendo Emiliano Corona perché Casper Foster e Tove Alexanderson hanno aiutato Emiliano Corona a non farsi una cattiva fama come tracciatore. I tempi erano misurati sul livello atletico e tecnico di due autentici fenomeni. The King, Casper Foster, The Queen, Tove Alexanderson. Absolutely. And Daniel Hoppan has punched that pre-warning. And he is in advantage. Uh, compared with Alden Heimdahl with some seconds. So let's see now the finish from Daniel Hoppmann. Daniel Hoppmann, and he is chasing now Alden Heimdahl's 1.46.25. 1.46.25, the time to beat for Daniel Hoppmann to beat Alden Heimdahl and uh, run into a new second best time. And then we have Matthias Kiburz, uh, of course, and he is even faster than Daniel Hoppmann. But I'm still waiting for the pre warning from Matthias Kiburz. Tenendo adesso l'arrivo di Daniel Hoopman e poi quello di Mattias Kiburz per definire la classifica. Daniel Hoopman sta gareggiando contro Audum Heimdall, probabilmente per la terza posizione. Mattias Kiburz potrebbe inserirsi in seconda posizione. Daniel Hoopman, il killer, uno degli uomini più esperti, uno dei più titolati di tutti i tempi. Sventola già la bandiera rosso crociata per l'arrivo di Daniel Hoopman. E poi probabilmente sventolerà ancora per Mattia Schiburzi, pantaloni neri, la maglia rossa con lo scudo, con la croce bianca sul cuore per Daniel Hobman. So Daniel Hopman from Switzerland, the time is running, 1.45 right now for Daniel Hopman. And this looks good for Daniel. Indeed, it's Eskil Schinneberg also on his way into the last control the, uh, the, down there, the Norwegian. But first of all, Daniel Hopman, the time to beat, to beat Alden Heimdall is 1.46.25. And he will do it. He will do it. I can see it. Very strong finish here from Daniel Hopman from Switzerland. He's on his way to second spot right now. Probably a third in the end because we are waiting for Matthias Kibbert to the pre-warning and the finish. But another great performance by Daniel Hoffman. He is impressive. È eterno Daniel Hoffman anche oggi sta dimostrando in una delle long distance più dure della sua carriera. Daniel Hoffman il killer, il grande svizzero al traguardo. Ah, great to see Daniel into second position right now, right behind Kasper Fosset, the winner today, but into second spot right there, 1.45.56 for Daniel Hopman. six minutes and five seconds behind the winner Kasper Fosser, and probably a third position in the end because we are waiting for Matthias Kiburs to the pre-warning and finish, and Eskil Schineberg heading into the finish into fifth position right now for Eskil, 1.49.16. 9.25 behind the winner Kasper Fosser from Norway. 1 ora 45 minuti 56 secondi per Daniel Hoffman. Stacca di 29 secondi Audun Heimdall che probabilmente si dovrà accontentare della quarta posizione per Daniel Hoffman. Una gran finale ha recuperato, è stato l'unico in grado di recuperare 14 secondi nell'ultima mezz'ora di gara a Kasper Fosser. So waiting now for Matthias Kubur. Now he punched it. There he punched it. The pre-warning, the second loss control. Matthias Kiburz from Switzerland. And we are definitely waiting for a second best time this day for Matthias Kiburz. So that means Kasper Fosser, Matthias Kiburz and Daniel Hoopman on the podium. So the battle between Matthias Kiburz and Daniel Hoopman in overall World Cup will continue on Saturday, definitely. But it looks very, very bright right now for Kasper Fosser and the overall World Cup season 2021. Per, I have uh, some, a news flash for you. Kasper Fosser broke the compass uh, ah. three controls before the finish line. Ah. He did the last three controls without the compass <laughs> after a crash on the ground it was unbelievable it's unbelievable yeah, it, is. it it's, is it's another sport yeah, it it's an another planet race. another galaxy sure. uh. oh very impressive by Kasper Fosser and now we are waiting for Matthias Kiburz and there I can see him 
far away, but uh, on his way to the last control, Matthias. Incredibile. Casper Fosser ha, è caduto sul terreno all'ingresso di Archeton, ha rotto la bussola, ha fatto i punti di Archeton senza bussola. <ride> Non, 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 so, non so descriverlo in altro modo, è impossibile, ma c'è riuscito. Ma se sei un Casper Fosser, non hai bisogno di un compass. Non hai bisogno di un compass. Magari tu non hai bisogno di un No, esatto. So, Mattias Kiburz, the last man to follow into the finish line today in this uh, very exciting long distance competition where we saw Casper Fosser and Tova Alessandersson, the king and the queen, as you said, Stefano. Stiamo aspettando allora Mattias Kiburz mentre Stiamo aspettando Mattias Kiburz mentre le batterie del microfono di Per Forsberg hanno ceduto dopo sei ore Per Forsberg ha tenuto duro più delle batterie dura c'è il Ok, back in business. So, Kasper Fosser and Tove Alessandersson, the king and the queen of orienteering right now. And we are waiting for the Matthias Kiburz to the last control and the last man to follow into the finish line before we have a prize giving ceremony also very soon. For prize giving ceremony, yes, it will be here. 10 meters far, we have the official ranking uh, in uh, women class, so the result. Mattias Kiburz in gara in questo momento da 1 ora e 44 minuti e vedo già sventolare la bandiera rosso crociata per l'arrivo dell'ultima maglia rossa, pantaloni neri. Mattias Kiburz uh, si sta avvicinando all'ultimo punto di controllo, Mattias Kiburz approaching the last control. And the time is running right now, 1.44.30 right now for Matthias Kiburz. And he's running towards the new second best time today. So it will be Norway, Switzerland, Switzerland, one, two, three among the men. And Sweden, Switzerland, Russia among the women today. So that means that uh, Auden Heindahl will be fourth. Martin Regborn in fifth position and Eskil Schinneberg in sixth. Questo sarà sicuramente il, la top 6 della cerimonia di premiazione che avverrà subito dopo l'arrivo dell'ultimo concorrente Mattias Kiburz che si inserirà in seconda posizione. Eccolo qui il campione svizzero, campione del mondo a media distanza quest'anno in Repubblica Ceca Mattias Kiburz. In seconda posizione oggi Mattias, right behind Casper Foster, today is the winner about Mattias Kiburz in seconda spot, 1.45.24. Ma Mattias è 5 minuti e 33 secondi behind the winner today, Kasper Foster from Norway. Daniel Hopman in third, 6.05 behind. Auden Heindahl in fourth, Martin Rigborn in fifth position, Eskil Schinneberg in Norway in sixth. And there we are Mika Kirmola, Finland in seventh, Florian Hovald, Switzerland in eighth, Gernot Imsen, Austria in ninth, and Max Peter Beimer, Sweden in tenth position. Preliminary. Con l'arrivo di Mattias Kiburz diventa praticamente ufficiale anche la posizione di Riccardo Scaletta Italia nella top 20, diciottesima posizione per Riccardo Scaletta, il distacco è di 14 minuti e 13 secondi da un super marziano Casper Fosser, il distacco è inferiore ai 10 minuti da Mattias Kiburz, oggi il primo degli umani.
corona ci troviamo sono brutti We have some more runners out there in terrain. Olav Lundanes on his way right now into the last control and is running towards our round position 20 today for Olav Lundanes. Norwegian win, as you know, with Kasper Fosser clearly the winner today in this long distance. But Olav Lundanes is on his way into the last control very soon. So Love is the second last finish today, I believe. We also waited for Joe Hardorn. Just punched a pre-warning, the Swiss uh, runner with a big, huge mistake on the way to the first control already for Joey today. But Olav on his way into position 20, 22, something like that for Olav Lonas. But nice to see him back here, Olav Lonas.
So Olav on his way, one hour 55 minutes running right now for Olav Lundanes. The last start of the day in this long distance where we saw, we have seen uh, Kasper Fosser winning again a long distance course in a big international meeting this time the World Cup Finals here in Casilio in Italy. But uh, former king of long distance, Olav Lundanes Norway, heading into the finish. Nice to see you, Olav. One hour, 56 minutes, and some seconds for Olav Lundanes Norway. Aim to the finish here for Olav, and the finish time, and the position also. Olav Lundanes, one hour, 56 minutes, and 22 seconds. And that means 23rd position for Olav. 16 and a half minutes behind his teammate Kasper Foster, today's winner. Also waiting for Joey Hardorn, we can see him down there, the Swiss runner. The winner of one World Cup event this season, and it was the middle distance in Idefjell, Sweden, in August. When he won the middle distance there, uh, Joey Hardorn. And Joe has been out for two hours and 12 minutes right now. So it will be position 74 today for Joe Adorn. Wow. Yep, 74th position it will be for Joey. And he will be more than 34 minutes behind the winner today, uh, Joey Hardorn. He was already more than 18 minutes behind at the first split time. And it was a huge mistake, really, to the first control for Joey today. But he will be back in contention on Saturday. Believe me. So, heading into the last control now, Joey Hedorn from Switzerland, and also some cheering now from his teammates. While we are waiting for the prize giving ceremony very soon for both the women and the men, of course. <laughs> he gets some company down there, you heard Orn, on his way into the finish. It's nice to see. So as long as you're learning from mistakes, he will be back. Maybe already on Saturday, you had on. He's a fighter. He is a fighter. So two hours, 13 minutes and some seconds for you had on today. And we have been waiting for you, Joey. And into the finish, you had on from Switzerland. So now I think all of the runners are inside the finish line. So that means the competition is over and we are waiting now for the prize giving ceremony, first for women and later on for the men.
So now the results from the men's competition are official. So 50 minutes for any complaints from now. Thank you. So I think we are ready to start the prize giving ceremony and we will start with the women. So please, the six best, the six best in the women competition, which are Tove Alexandersson, Simona Ebersold, Natalia Gempele, Andrine Benemisen, Sara Hagström and Sarina Kiburts. Please be gathered at the prize giving ceremony area just in front of the uh, finish line, some uh, 20 meters in front of the finish line. So please, the six best women, please be gathered for the prize giving ceremony. Thank you.
puesto. <risa> Okay. Abbiamo, abbiamo la cerimonia di premiazione del Prize Giving Ceremony of the Long Distance World Cup Final Piano del Consiglio Italy 2021. Mr. Sergio Anesi, the President of the Federazione Italiana Sport Orientamento, the National Federation. Here we are with Mr. Umberto Soccal, the major of uh, Alpago, and uh, we are very pleased to have here with us uh, the deputy of the Italian Parliament, uh, Miss uh, Angela Colmellere, and uh, we have a news for you. She's an orienteer. <laughs> we have an orienteer in the Italian Parliament. Uh, it seems impossible, but it's true. She's an orienteer, really. <laughs> so, please, uh, Per. <laughs> yeah. I will try. <laughs> I will try. We start from the sixth position in this long distance for women, and we start representing Switzerland. Ladies and gentlemen, Sarina Kiburts. In fifth place, representing Sweden, Sora Hogström. In fourth place, representing Norway, Andrina Benemisen. Now to the podium in third place, representing Russia, Natalia Gemperle. In second place, representing Switzerland, Simona Ebersold. And in first place, and the winner for the 35th time when it comes to a World Cup event, representing Sweden, Tove Alexandersson.
So here are the six best women in this long distance race here in Gazzilio in Italy today. And the winner, Tove Alexandersson. A big round of applause. We are ready also for the prize giving ceremony for the men, so please, the six best men, please proceed and be gathered around the prize giving ceremony area. Thank you. So the 15 minutes has passed, no complaints. So that means the results are official, so that means we can uh, take care of the prize giving ceremony also for the men. Okay, we are ready. So let's start the prize giving ceremony for the men. In sixth place, representing Norway, Eskil Kinneberg. In the fifth place, representing Sweden, Martin Regborn. In fourth place, representing Norway, Odin Heimdall. In third place, and if I'm counting right, the 74th time on the podium from Switzerland, Daniel Hopman. In second place, also representing Switzerland, Matthias Kiburts.
And on top of the podium, the winner, and nowadays, the queen, not the king. Of long distance, from Norway, Kasper Fosser. And the sixth best on long distance here in Casilio in Italy today. A big round of applause. And the battle for both women and men in the overall World Cup standings will continue on Saturday. The very same arena, but at that day on Saturday we had the middle distance. A me non resta che dare l'appuntamento a sabato per la media distanza l'ultima gara individuale della Coppa del Mondo 2021 ci troveremo qui nel stesso posto grazie ai volontari, grazie alle amministrazioni comunali, grazie agli sponsor a tutti coloro che hanno aiutato all'organizzazione di questa long distance è andato tutto bene, ci rivediamo sabato e che vada meglio, grazie a tutti grazie a Per Forsberg grazie Stefano and see you on sabato sabato, sabato.